Oh my goodness, I think we're live. Let's see who can hear us in here. Who can hear us? We have 173 potential viewers. Are they at Woot? Exciting times. Here we are. Oh, it's happening. Hello. Okay, is everybody ready? Oh, yes. How attractive am I now? Aren't I so attractive? <laughs> <laughs> so prepare for the very stealthy as coming in from the side thing. Here it happens. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Oz. Hello. Oh. I need some special effects, don't I, where I can just like appear in the mist. Bonsoir. Hello. Hello, Oz. Fade in. Yeah, fade in would be great. Wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's check the cameras. Camera two. Oh, someone wants fireworks, definitely. Camera three fireworks. is just my laptop right now. We'll get rid of that in a second. Good morning. Good evening. Good night. Puff of smoke. Put a blanket over your head and pretend you're a shadow. That's genius. That's a really good That's idea. That's genius. We can get a coat. Do it again. <laughs> I kind of want to do it again. <laughs> I kind of want to re... Once you've entered once, if you enter again... Uh, it's fine, because we will just ignore that he made a comment, and you'll do that next time. Okay, okay. Oh, you've put pressure on me now for next time. <laughs> so as a, as a quick thing, um, this is obviously going to be a game-focused stream, but I'm going to give a couple of minutes just for everybody to arrive and see who's going to turn up. Um, hopefully we will have Jack in the chat who will be answering questions tonight because I'll be getting rid of this so I can focus on the game very shortly. I'll try and speak slowly for our French listeners as well. I'm trying to be good tonight. Introductions. I am Az. I'm Babis. I'm Karina. Yeah. So this is, I don't know, I've been thinking about, I was spoiling your presence on the show and thinking about whether you should come and I was going to introduce you as Mrs. Az, but. I, I think maybe not. Karina's my better half. Karina is, yeah, that sounds is better. and Karina has just played Solomon Kane for the very first time today. In fact, only a couple of hours ago, and uh, not Mrs. Uh, Ms. Miss. <laughs> yes, yeah, Miss. I, I don't like it enough to put a ring on it. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> No. I'm going to get burned by justice shortly. Oh snap, Cedric! I know I'm going to regret that later. I'm going to get, I'm going to get whipped <laughs> later. Uh, it's been nice knowing you guys, says Andrew. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. Thanks, buddy. Um, so, quick worthies here. Update finished. Awesome. Awesome. So, we're going to get a few more people in. We've got 200, which is wicked. So, what we're going to be doing tonight, as everyone kind of filters in, is playing a few chapters out of Wings in the Night. So, this is from the Heart of Africa uh, box that we released, obviously, yesterday. We're going to be delving into a few chapters from that. A couple of things I want to mention just at the very start here. We are using um, the, the boards that you've seen before. These will be different boards in the final game. And we're also proxying a kind of couple of minis that are a little bit different from the ones that you saw um, in the add-on. So please don't worry. Um, it, will, it will flow just fine. We will be showing off the Discovery deck for the first time and showing you how, how that works. And we're also playing, if I show this, you're not, you'll see it just off to the side over here, over here. Courage is not going to be in this game. Courage is taking a back seat, but by taking a back seat, we're introducing for the first time the rules of what happens when you have courage off board. Now, that means the three of us, temperance, mm -hmm. justice, and prudence, and prudence. Uh, I'm ever the prudent, um, we'll be working together with the support of Courage's cards at the side, and we're going to be kind of working through those rules and showing you how that works as well. Uh, can't wait to see how Discovery Deck works. Great. Okay, welcome. So, do you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this, get this out of the way. Boom. Let's play. So, in the comments, uh, Jack is here. Quick word, he's here. He'll be answering any questions you have as you play through the game. So, please, by all means, um, fire them in. He will answer them in the main chat as we go through. For us, though, we're just going to get in and kind of enjoy this. I've been looking forward. I've genuinely been looking forward to this. Um, so, let me bring my board across. Um, now, we are essentially starting on chapter uh, two. What I will say, the Wings in the Night is actually a three act adventure. So that means you're getting 30 different chapters and lots of different chapter cards. So you play through 10 in one act, then another 10, another act, and then another 10, another act that makes up the entire adventure that forms Wings in the Night. Yes. We're just playing a very small sample of that. And we're going to keep in mind that we're going to kind of play it as we see it. But it's worth noting that everything we do would have longer repercussions on what would happen to you as you carry through because the tracks, of course, all the, the strength, the clarity, compassion, danger, they carry on. And specifically, any of the cards that we use, any of Courage's cards that we decide to use, these are one time use per act, which means you've got to get through 10 chapters using them before they're actually able to refresh. So. Because we're only playing a small handful of chapters, we may go a little bit over the top because we want to survive. 
Um, but we'll keep that in mind that the bigger picture, you know, we're only showing you a, a little sample of it here. So what's the setting for Wings in the Night? Solomon has got himself in a little bit of danger. He's in Africa. He's searching for a village where he's heard rumors of this trouble going on. As he's been searching, though, what's happened is Solomon has essentially come across an entire village of cannibals. And that's not where he wants to be. In fact, it's, it's dozens and dozens and dozens of these kind of cannibals. So he kind of moves away from the village to try and get around it. But unfortunately, it's not going to go that easy. Now, the, the trick for this in Solomon, Solomon's not a man that turns away from a fight by a long shot. He is the kind of guy that stands. He, never will he be stabbed in the back. It's all he looks his enemies straight dead in the eye. But he's woefully outnumbered. And um, so we're going to be starting chapter two, thankfully, in a good position because we were pretty smart in previous chapters. Yeah. So, as we go into chapter two, Wings of the Night, can I please have the chapter card about us? We'll do a little bit of reading. There you go. So, the chapter card states, Cain takes a route that avoids a village of the tribe hunting him, but he must still evade a patrol of warriors tracking him through the jungle. So the first thing we need in the board, so Babish, you can help me with this, is sure. we need Solomon Cain. And in the storybook, you'll have the map that tells you where this goes. We also need temperance on the board. Okay. We need two shadows and their corresponding shadow spawn points for X, Y, and Z, or Z, depending on your part of the world. Thank you. So this will, this will come in the storybook that will accompany it. So if this little blurb is not enough to get you into it, you can read all about everything that happens between the chapters and leading you in inside of that. So you have the full narrative and you have the gorgeous art, which you started seeing us sharing little teasers of with the add-on. We also need four tribal warriors. Uh -oh. Okay. This is going to be tough. This is a I lot. Thought, a I lot. thought the shadows look menacing. Okay. Awesome. So for anyone that's not super familiar, I'll point out right now that when you're playing Solomon Cain, there's kind of a battle taking place on two planes. There's the physical elements that Solomon can interact with. So in this case, we have four tribal warriors that Solomon is essentially trying to keep away from. What we also have, though, are the virtues and the shadows, these representations of darkness and evil, which he is not really aware of, except the feeling and the fear and the tension. And if the shadows reach him, terrible things will happen. They'll start to trigger horrible events. He'll lose his weapons. He'll get lost. He'll, his mind will become muddled. Not good stuff. And that's where we, as the virtues, are going to try and ensure that safe passage for him. Two things of important note. We also need to place uh, on the board um, the objective of what we're trying to get to, because we're trying to stealthily, oh, sorry about this. We're trying to stealthily get past these guys, and we're going to be using this just to denote our objective. And this is our primary goal. If we get here, we're going to get essentially uh, one step, one, one victory point towards a positive outcome to this chapter. The other thing we need to note is because of what we did in the chapter before, we have entered this chapter as denoted by the card again. The card has that Solomon Cain is actually hidden. So what does that mean? We actually have a little rule that specifically is showing how we enter and it tells us how the hidden mechanics work. And for long story short, and I'll place it by the board for now, mortal enemies, the tribal warriors, can't engage us until they find us. Because we are hidden. Because we are hidden. And this is leading into this chapter, into chapter two, if we had done something different in the first chapter, if we hadn't done as well, this may not be the state that we enter this chapter. We also then have a card denoted for searching and the reason for this is right now all the tribal warriors are in a scout stance which means they're going to be looking for us and searching for us as the chapter unfolds if they find us their behaviors are going to completely change and we will cross that bridge if we come to it i hope we don't i hope we don't as well. <laughs> um, we also need seven darkness cards and that's yeah. going to tell us how long we have to complete our objectives so objective number one, reach our end goal, make safe passage around the village. Objective number two, stay hidden. Do not let them find us, otherwise we are going to end up in someone's cauldron, being cannibalized, and on Solomon Cain sausage dinner. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. That Puritan, sound Puritan pea soup. Puritan, Puritan, pea Puritan, soup? Puritan, Puritan puree. Oh. Puritan. I love, I Yes, <laughs> so I love alliterations. I love puns, but this still doesn't sound great. I'm sorry. It's not a good. Someone in the comments. I hope you're making a better a better pun than I could. Um, if Solomon Cain gets defeated, we will lose two of our potential victory points in the good path. So we have 
an ideal outcome, a moderately okay outcome, and an other, a very bad outcome. So get to the objective, stay hidden, and we go well. We, I think I've covered everything. Yeah, at this stage. Oh, no, we also need a discovery card. We also we? need discovery card 33. So discovery card, this is only just a little sample of the deck. This deck will be much bigger in the end, but the, the, the discovery cards are numbered. So you're not going to know exactly which one is. There will be loads and loads and loads of these in the big stack, but we've just got what we need here to kind of give you guys a flavor for it. We need number... 33. 33. So let me grab that. So 33 says, run for your life. So specifically for this chapter, and again, this is something that's dependent on the, the situation that we're in. If a move action is spent on Solomon Cain, the virtue doing so may choose to move him one additional area at a cost of plus one danger and the loss of hidden status. And this remains in play. So this again will become an active element to the game for this specific chapter. So we have the option to make a dash for it if we really yeah. want to. But at the cost of losing our danger. hidden status. And, and increasing danger, which is for me, danger. because this is the thing you have to keep in mind, the tracks will not be resetting between chapter to chapter. No. You have to manage this for a whole act. Even if you decide to stop and save the game, when you come back, you'll pick up from the same chapter and carry on, and all your tracks will be as they were before. Um, we've used a couple of the Courage cards already, so we had 10 available from the Courage deck. Two of them have been used, but we do have some movement, we do have some strength increases, and um, some fights as well. So there's, there's some options over there to fill the gaps. By not having Courage physically on the board, her presence is still there. And we could call upon her if we really needed to. Sure. She still, she still get, help, helps us. She still, yeah, she, she's always there, even yeah. if we're not directly controlling her individually. So. One thing I guess as we should say is this change slightly, I need to draw one more card, is we've got cards either side of our board. Yeah. So we have our player boards, we have a card on either side that comes from our deck. We also then have a hand of three cards and all the remaining cards form our deck that we'll be drawing from. There's also a discard pile over here where I've used a card already and we all have, uh, all of us share those things. So a player board with two action cards, a hand of three cards and our deck and discard pile. Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Okay, guys. So we have seven <laughs> darkness cards. Yes. To so get to here, preferably stealthily. That means seven player turns, unless we get to do something. Okay. Okay. So for me, we have to decide the player order. Yeah. Now I'm going to throw myself out there immediately and say I don't have any moves right now available on my board or card. Okay. I could obviously access these, but I'd be very happy to help you guys get someone move initially and maybe just hold on some of my stronger abilities for later. That makes sense. That makes I, a lot of sense. I can I, move. I have one you, option of moving. I would need three dice. Right. Great. I can do that as well. But this move is on my uh, cardboard, mm -hmm. which means that I won't be spending it. So I won't be discarding the card. So, so it's better. Yeah. It might be better. I don't know. Yeah, keep, yeah. You can spend a single dice to get any of your cards back from your discard pile into your deck again. But generally, if you're able to use these abilities, they're recurring and are never going to disappear. So it's normally a slight advantage. And so I'm, I'm happy to go first. Yeah, go first. We agree. Then, yes. Yeah. Okay. I should grab some dice, actually. Yes. You're hoarding all the dice over there, always. 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 That's how it um, is. So second, Babis, third, Karina. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. Yes. I'll give you a second player. Thank you. Okay. So having a quick look at the board, getting a little bit of time to strategize. Um, if things were ideal, we would be kind of looking to go sort of one, two, three, four, something yes. like this yeah. across. That might be the shortest way, but yeah. still we would actually endanger ourselves because we are getting adjacent to yeah. two warriors. Okay. And I just want to point to everyone at home, this line in the middle of the board, please try and ignore that. This is just a nature of prototyping. It's just yeah. the way it is sometimes, unfortunately. Um, okay. Um, Loosely confident. Okay. Stay stealth. Stay calm. And roll well. And roll well. My chap is safe. Roll Why did you that to me? <laughs> uh, so I'll check these on the board. So I've got a faith, and I've got a fear, and I've got a determination. Um, now, for me, I can donate one dice to each of you. So initially, are any of those useful before I make any rerolls or flips? This is actually the idea of a roll for me. <laughs> yes. exactly what you needed. <laughs> uh, for Karina, either. Yeah. Yeah. I think okay. yeah. Okay. Maybe determination. Uh, yeah. Okay. Determination uh, for you. Babis. Yes. Okay. Uh, fear for you. Karina. Yeah. Yeah. That and makes I, more sense. I will simply. I don't want to shuffle my discard pile in back yet, so I will just simply reserve uh, for myself this faith. So I'll enter my reserve slot. So you did the most compassionate thing. You actually 
help us? I, I think it makes the most sense because right now I have a couple of cards which could give us a really strong round, like giving everybody extra dice in, yeah. in your reserves, um, which could give some really powerful actions. Yeah. For me to use these now, I don't think it makes sense. It's a really good move, so yeah. yeah. Now, I do have the option because I haven't used either of these cards yet. I could discard one of them and draw a new one from my deck, but I actually want to hold this because I think it's quite powerful for mm -hmm. giving dice. And I know later on, just simply looking ahead at the chapters to come, we will need to guide Solomon with some light on chapters okay. later. So I'm going to hold on to that as well. Okay. okay. I'll flip over, which no, denotes the end of my turn. So Darkness and gets his turn or her turn. Bump their bump turn. Shoot. <laughs> okay. Darkness card. So we're not in a story, which means we can skip the story part. We've got anything in this area with the little Solomon key in, is anything adjacent to Solomon right now? No one's adjacent to. So we can skip right through that. Perfect. Then we've got two scouts, each move one south. So at the moment, north is this direction, so back yeah. towards me, towards the objective. Mm -hmm. So south is actually that way. Yeah. <laughs> that way. So we need to move two scouts, one south. Okay. It's up to us, really. So we could move that one over him there. here. Yeah. Does that make sense? Do yes. we agree? Yes, yes. yes. I think anything that clears the, the objective out more, yeah. I'm well behind. Perfect. And then... Yep. We can move yeah, him yeah, yeah. Here. One down there as yeah well. I don't yeah. like how if you bring him to here, he's right in, yeah, in his yeah. So he goes bloop, 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 in yeah. the bushes. So the next uh, line is the shadow closest to Solomon Cain moves two to engage him. So the shadow is one, two, three, four away. That's three That's away. Three away. So that would be the closest yep. one. Yeah, move two to engage. One, two. That's fine. And the shadow, I mean, I say, I fine say is fine. <laughs> it's not fine. Uh, um, what's worse is the shadow furthest from Solomon moves two to threaten him as well. Okay. <laughs> so this one's also going to move two forward. Okay. Has to be close. If there's equidistant, then you can choose. Yes. So we can either move it here or there. Uh, right. Are they both equidistant? Yes, they are. Yes. So yeah. I think keeping at the side would be my point of view. Try, try and keep this path yes, relatively clear. I think that yeah, as well. Completely yeah, completely agree. And this player decision, this is kind of the, the, the say the virtues have a little bit over the kind of mortal realm is that we kind of, when it's an equal, exactly equal, we can kind of decide where they go to. Um, the scout furthest from Solomon is going to move one towards him as well. Um, now, this guy already activated. Oh, sorry. Yeah. My, my big, hello, my big hand. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this guy already activated. This guy is one, two, three away. This, guy uh, this, is this guy's one, one two, two, three, three as, well. as well. So which, do you want to move him or him? I'd say the one over there because yeah, yeah. Then the this same space? thing we would yeah. keep we would keep the uh... okay. Um, then the scout closest to Solomon Cain is going to perform a search action. Now this guy, this guy, and this guy have all activated, so yes. they can't go again. So it's him. Yes. Yeah. So how does the search work? You can run us through his thoughts. Okay. So we get the initial score. Okay. That would be that would depend on the distance that Solomon Cain has okay. with the guy that performs the search. So if he's in the same area, he'll start with a two. If he's adjacent, you'll start with one. If he's further, he'll start with zero. Right now we begin with a zero okay, score. Because he's he's three away. Three away. Okay. That would be zero, mm -hmm. but then we discard the top event card. Yeah. But uh, according to the um the chapter? To, to the chapter card. Mm, these, the the, these these miniatures are considered rubble. Ah, okay, gotcha. Which means that we get to uh, add up the rubble number. That okay. would be the leftmost one. Okay, so okay. you want to okay. flip so, one of those. Let us see. There you go. So here you go. So for anyone at home, this left number is the rubble. Then you have mm -hmm. the villain. Then you have the nemesis. So this these will be random numbers, but generally speaking, not always. These numbers will be less proficient because it's villagers and innocents, untrained folk. Whereas this number is people who are used to fighting mercenaries, pirates, maybe. Whereas this number are the big honchos. These are your witch finder generals, your ghosts, your big bads. Including okay. Solomon. Solomon is a, a big bad. So, <laughs> Hence the red background. Hence the red background. Like yeah. And um, so for this, because the chapter tells us the tribesmen are rabble, we take the left number, which is two. So zero plus two is two. Mm -hmm. Now, the, how the rules have changed a lot since playtesting is what we're now going to do is we're going to go to the discovery deck and the search card tells us that if when searching you get three or under we go to d14 to d14 if i grab so a new discovery card essentially comes into play and okay. changes the rules a bit oh, that's so exciting. not a sign the scout oh. thinks that he hears something and turns towards solomon's hiding place there's a tense moment as he studies the area intently 
Finally, the scout decides that it must have just been wind in the grass and turns his attention elsewhere. <laughs> Solomon, or Babis, breathes a sigh of relief. <laughs> the scout does not see Solomon. So this tells you not a sign has happened. Thankfully, because he's so far away, he, he failed to really have any detection. It's not going to change the game at all, but it could. It definitely could have a permanent effect. That would have been different if he was actually adjacent to us or even in the same space as we were. He would have essentially got a way worse card yeah. or potentially much worse card. Yeah. Okay. So, so we were lucky. We were definitely lucky. We got lucky. Um, that he's far well, away. I say lucky. Um, unfortunately, um, we have to spawn because we're still, we're still going back <laughs> to the darkness card. We have to spawn at Y, which means on the board um, we have... Uh, y, X, and Z. Our danger level is currently at five, which means we can have up to three shadows, which means that third shadow will indeed spawn. Oof. So we had a lot of movement, a lot of them searching, um, and shadows spawning and danger starting to brew. But right now, actually, the board is still okay. If we can get moving, this we, is fine. We still got an ideal path that's open. So okay. let's hope that, that you roll I roll like better than intended. So. A virtuous person, Douglas. Yeah. Oh, I left my water way over there. Oh, yeah. Sad times. So given the fact that I need one fear, yep. I'll be re-rolling re that die. So right now you actually wouldn't get this unless you get a fear yes. or a fear. Oh, man. That's, That's fear. <laughs> I, I, did, I almost wanted to show it before you lifted it, but you really genuinely rolled a fear there. that fear just can be lucky? Was, uh, that was amazing. <laughs> so you got exactly what you needed yes. even without the dice I donated precisely to. yeah so i'll be i'll be taking uh, i'll be taking one of my um uh, dice yep. and putting it on reserve you don't want to give it to justice to karina karina do you need the um do you need determination yourself yeah i could if we want to move i could sure. move him so i'm going to use a donated die that i had yeah. my donated determination to fuel the cost yeah. and then give my roll determination yeah. as a donation to yeah. karina because yeah. that would be that would be handy because i have a better Sorry, chance I didn't, to get no, i no, didn't know that no no, no, no that's that's perfect um i realized that we haven't i don't i, I didn't mention the hidden thing properly because it's something that is actually worth noting here while we're hidden we are limited in how we can move i didn't mention this actually if we want to maintain hidden, there's three things we have to uh, adhere to. First of all, if we move more than one area in a single action, we will make it more noise and become visible. If we move into or out of the same area as an enemy, we will become visible. And if we decide to run for our lives, that's the chapter specific card related to Wings in the Night story, um, we would also become visible. So using move ones yeah. is good. So this is. Yes. However, let's clarify that if an opponent, if an enemy comes into our space, yeah without noticing us with a search action, we won't be revealed. Okay, we're so hidden. we're going to stay hidden. Okay, okay, so it's only if we move into oh, them. Well, yes. yes. Okay, okay that, that makes sense. Get him going, Babas, where's he heading so to? I'm going to move one. Yeah. I, I, I think, I suggest that it would be better for us if we actually step in here. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, so here. yeah, because yeah. the idea route was this, yeah. but now, yes. now it's not. But now not, we would be adjacent anymore. to both, that doesn't feel Precisely. like it makes sense. So let's, not. yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Let's step on here. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Perfect. That's me. So I won't be discarding anything. I'm gonna flip my token over, and this is darkness turn. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a spoiler in here. I know I said I wouldn't do any spoilers. I was gonna focus on gameplay, but I'm just saying, if we do hit more stretch goals, if we do hit you know, more expansive game, and more people come and join us on this campaign, you're gonna have alternate Solomon sculpts that are gonna fit gorgeous into scenarios like this. I'm just saying. That's it. <laughs> I even managed to sneak Just one into it. I couldn't resist. I mean, <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I can't even see the comments, so I can't even feel bad. If they're shouting at me, it's down there, so I can't feel bad. Okay, darkness card. So again, we can skip past the story section and go straight to the adjacent. No one's adjacent on the board. We can see mm -hmm. that around Solomon, so we can go straight to the next section. So the shadow... Oh, my God. <laughs> that sounds promising. I thought that, well, I mean, now it doesn't matter where we would move. This is bad either way. The shadow closest to Solomon moves two to engage him. Uh-oh. Okay. Now, okay. there's two that are equal distance because he's mm -hmm. two and he's two. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I'd want to get the one that's in front of us. Okay, rather away. than the one that's in the back, right? Yes, assuming that we're going to kind of come through here. Mm hmm and there's a second shadow over there. Mm -hmm. I would, I would, I would move him in. What do you think, Marina? Um, well, I'm not sure. I. 
probably would go for the other one actually. Yeah, for this one. Yeah, because if you think yeah. about it, um, yeah, because there are two coming from that direction, yeah. whereas this is only one in this direction, and and we know where where they could potentially spawn. I'm just saying, it feels like it makes sense. So you're more thinking it's more sense to kind of focus going this way, yeah. away from the two spawn yeah. points. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm actually okay with that. Yeah. What do you think? I, I trust your instinct. Oh, oh God. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. my God. That's one of us. Um, okay. <laughs> Live um, stream pressure. That's all. <laughs> Bob is that. Oh. Well, move, okay. move one of them in. I think, yeah, I think for him. He said this one, right? Yeah. So it moves one. And then two. Two. And specifically engages. Now, when something <laughs> engages, it engages in action. Pirates will, will swashbuckle and fight. Yeah. Gorillas will jump and pounce. But in the shadow specific case, they trigger an event. Yes. I don't want to swear on stream, but it's it's the bad stuff happens deck is what, is what happens when a shadow reaches you. So can we have an event card? We're going to infuse the, him with I, I feel like before you do that, it's important to mention that when this happens, you need to make a sound because there always needs to be sound effects. Do you need <clears throat> to be horrific or? Not necessarily, but there needs to be a sound. So I vote because it just sort of comes in and goes okay. that we can make a sound like that. Sure. Yeah. Right? Agree? Yeah. We should have sound effects. Sure. Cool. <laughs> can we an event card? Let's go. Happens? Okay, so we've got to resolve a full event card. So first of all, one virtue will discard all donated dice. Karina, you're the only virtue with <laughs> donated dice, and you have two donated dice. They were so perfect. They were so perfect. <laughs> can, can, can we show how perfect they were? Uh, yes, we can. This, so Karina was basically just one single dice away from having another move for Solomon. Uh, so yes, those are gone. We were determined. You get, you get to keep the card, of course. Hooray! Um, I will say as well as another update. We've heard your suggestions on the comments. We will be adding more nasty stuff to these. Not just these. These are just a baseline. We'll be adding re-rolling, shifting, moving, all sorts of fun. You just have to see. Also, there's the nightmare deck to contend with, which does even shadier stuff. So and darkness herself. We've heard your comments. Um, we also then have all virtues. Oh my god! All virtues discard their right hand action card. So for me, I'm losing my place one light. I'm losing my place one light as well. And I'm losing place justice on the board. Oh, oh. no justice today. Mm. No, that makes me a bit sad. OK, uh, do you know what? It could have been worse. That event actually wasn't ideal, but well. It could have been worse. I lost my dice. I lost the card. And... You're going to roll perfectly um, once I finish the darkness card. Um, <laughs> now, the most westerly <laughs> scout is going to move to east. Now, when we look at the board, the objective is towards the north. So he's going to move. Most westerly is this guy. Yes. He's going to move two to the east. One. Yeah. Two. And it has to be that way, that way. Yeah, we have no yes. choice. It has to be straight across. The shadow then farthest from Solomon will move two to threaten him. So that would be yeah. one. Yeah. Two. Yeah. And he threatens him. Um, then we have a spawn at Z or Z. Oh, my word. And because we've lost a poof, a shadow, another one is going to appear because the danger track is still at the point that we can have yeah. three shadows. If we had that danger one one lower, we could only have two shadows. I'm quite happy about my decision to poof the other uh, um, one there. I'm so tempted of actually yeah. legging it. <laughs> As in triggering the run for your life? Yeah. Already? No, I think that we better stay composed. I'm I'm, you I'm, just say you're a tempted to run yeah, for it. As, 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 as a player, but as a virtual and temperance, I suggest we oh, keep okay. our heads So you're cool. conflicted. You're telling us you're conflicted. Yes. Mixed signals, Babas. Okay, so that was the end of Babas's turn. Yes. yes. So Justice Karina. <laughs> Sadly, I have lost okay. the card. Two, two fear and a determination. Just roll it. Be amazing. It's just it's, it's fantastic. No pressure. Right? Yeah, chuck it out no there pressure. No, I, I, I can't. Check, I, yeah, check yeah, I can't check it there. My friend, my friend Willem will be very upset. If I hello, check hello to Willem if you're watching. Hello, Willem. That's really, so. really. You, oh, yeah. You actually rolled it. Yeah. If you if you wanted this, I'm gonna bring it into shot if you yeah, mind. Just not a problem. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Because yeah, you, you can flip or re-roll. So if you were to flip this, it becomes the determination that you need. So it wasn't that bad. It was actually really good. Lux on our side. Okay. So we still flip. <laughs> 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 Again, sound effects no, are I, essential so, for board. I'm so with it. I'm so with it. Um, okay, cool. So I can use this as a uh, a while. Yeah, I'll bring so. it, yeah, bring it up here a little bit. Oh, yeah, so I, I just, just to show this one time. Sorry. Or if I, actually, do you know, if I was yeah, if I perfect. was making sense, I would do this. Cool. So this is perfect. your card. Awesome. So then, uh, what we can do is we can place this here. Yeah. We can place this here, and we can use this one as a wild. Once per turn. 
one Brilliant. to move Solomon one. And we're going to move Solomon one. Um, oh, thank you. And the sweetest garden, indeed. So basically, the only sensible place to move would be here because we would like to stay hidden. So if mm -hmm. we move here, we would not be hidden. So what would then make sense would be to move here and remain hidden. Um, well, do we do we disagree with that? Uh, I don't disagree. I'm just counting the spaces around. <laughs> I know this, this is so <laughs> stupid, but I was literally just counting the spaces like around the back. Uh, How many cards? We have seven. We've used this to be three. We yeah, yeah four, I left, so four left. That feels like. Keep right. in mind, courage does have some double moves. Courage can actually allow us to move Solomon two spaces. No, no, but then we lose the hidden. Yeah, uh, as it is. Okay. We still we still haven't revealed the third card. So we have. After Corina's turn, we have four, four turns. turns. Yeah, I, I'm with yeah, I mean, yours is that's the, and, the right thing. Uh, just let me clarify, guys, that these rules for hiding don't apply to the shadows because they belong to a different realm. Okay, yeah. fair so, enough. We can't hide from them. In so essence, we, Solomon is, is not hidden from them. Cool. So technically, um, someone could walk into this space sure. and remain hidden. Yes. Awesome, but I still think <laughs> 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 Yes, I'm, oh, I am in agreement. Yeah. <laughs> Bring him, bring him forward. How does he move when he's hidden? Is he stepping on peas or something? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, you, yeah. you need to think of because it's sort of it's it's sort of his cape and the wind a bit and the grass and it's just really 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 <laughs> yeah. silent because he's hidden. Okay. No. Okay. Makes sense. Tough audience. Tough, tough, tough audience. card. Tough card. Darkness so, card. Before oh, we, oh, yes, we leave the darkness card. Uh, Justice needs to actually prepare herself for the next round. This is true. So two cards from your hand, because one was discarded and one yeah. obviously okay. played. Actually, this is not that bad. I have move two, okay. mm -hmm. and I have compassion plus one, Okay. okay. which could be handy, mm -hmm. potentially. Yeah. I'm going to draw up two free. Yeah. See, I remember to draw cards. It's going good. It's going good. Going good. Um, and then, sadly... Mm -hmm. So we got the third darkness card. Okay. So we have adjacent stuff now. So one shadow or hunter engages an adjacent mortal. Now we don't have any hunters in the world because these guys just they haven't found us. They're yes. searching for us. So a shadow is going to engage us. Adjacent one, so it has to be either this one. Oh no, no not this not. one. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it moves oh here God. and here. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a good sign. Yeah, no, it is it is a good cool. sign for sure. It is. Okay, and this is the effect. Okay, so we have all virtues discard one donated dice. Don't have it. Uh, then we have virtues decide minus one strength, clarity, or compassion. Well, I could technically get a plus one for compassion if needed. Can we afford losing one then? Yes, at the moment we're all very mm -hmm. equal, and I'm more worried about our strength than compassion right now. If we might have to explore, clarity is more useful. I don't think we need to be just with cannibals. Okay. That's kind of my feeling. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe, maybe. Yeah. We, we might afford being less compassionate, it. I guess. Uh, fair enough, I guess. I, mean, I, I understand there's a, there are ethical dilemmas at play. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. But still, nonetheless, <laughs> I, could get yes. the, I could get compassion back up if needed. Sure. So, okay, yeah. Cool. Okay. So compassion is now at four. Is it? Um, now we have um, a scout. Oh, man. An adjacent scout will move one north. So it has to either Ooh. be this, this guy here or this one. Oh, this is intriguing. Hmm. Um, so if, if we did move this guy, we, well, we'd still be blocked. Yeah, yeah it's got to be this but guy. This yeah. One would, yeah, this one would actually leave us a space open to move Precisely. Later on. Precisely. So it makes sense to move him here. Yeah. No, I go here. Or here. Or here. But because, yeah, sorry, of course. Because moving because north. north. Yeah, yeah. No, of course. Moving north actually means moving on an adjacent space yes. adjacent to the line yeah. shown gotcha. here. I really, I really love this bit. This, this, how the different uh, areas are split and how you have several options. I really love that bit about the board. So yeah, definitely. Sorry, what was I thinking? Definitely, we should go there because we leave a really nice uh, yeah. path okay. to Let's our objective. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sound effects. <laughs> sorry, I just I completely jumped in. I'm done. Well, he's not he's not in hiding, right? So he'll just go. Bum, 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 bum. Everybody's <laughs> at home going. They're three D prints, Karina. <laughs> Koji, go easy. <laughs> <laughs> so non-adjacent, anything that's non-adjacent to Solomon, a shadow furthest from Solomon moves two to all. Oh, you're having a laugh. Moves two to engage him. Oh no, that's fine. This one. Oh god, I thought this I thought this one was gonna move in. Yeah. 
Yes, so... So we can actually move it here. Just one, two, or one, two. Yes, for sure. By the for sure, here, right? I thought, I thought this one was coming straight in. <laughs> Um, two scouts are each going to move one west. So okay. These are people not adjacent, so this does not apply yes. to this guy. Yes. And he's also moved already, so we, uh, it doesn't yep. apply to him either. So the only two choices are the ones back. further in the east. Yeah. So this guy can move into one of two spaces. Yes. I mean, I think we're probably going to. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Definitely. And this guy has three choices, actually. So mm -hmm. here, here, or here. I vote not here. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm with you on that one, yeah. that's for sure. I'm with you as well. So <laughs> it better be there, right? This is really nice because they're kind of skirting around in this mm -hmm. pattern, kind of following each other. Yeah. 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 Sure. Quite like that. Perfect. Um, then we have uh, Spawn and Zed. <laughs> Oh my lord. They never end. No, they well we haven't been using temperance because you're controlling temperance. We could have absolutely used one guys to move her. I, I know what I'm gonna actually um uh, suggest later on uh, is me being first. Yeah. Because I have a move temperance two okay. spaces, so I can actually bring temperance over to Solomon's space yeah. or here or here or wherever we sure, wish. Sure, sure. And have and protect him temporarily that, from yeah. some shadows. Super. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah or maybe mm -hmm. move and try to poof uh, one of the shadows. Or, let's yeah, see. or let's try see to ward them off temporarily yeah. because we have that choice now. Yeah. We have, we have okay. a new rule that actually yeah. we will potentially about to see here with regards to how shadows interact with virtues. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, you're fine. You want to do some spoilers? No. It's good fun. No, no, that's, that's, that'll, that's your thing. Oh, it's my, did you hear that, Leo? Spoilers are my thing. Yes. <laughs> that made me so happy. Okay. Okay, dokie. Yeah. Yes. So we are done. With the first round. With the first round. Okay. Now we have to... Uh, choose the player order. Choose the player order again. And we're both down a card yeah. because yes. we, we don't get... Because this was done by uh, an event. Yeah. So yeah. we don't get that until the end of our next turn. No. Okay. So I still agree that that makes sense for you to move temperance. Mm -hmm. So if I'm moving with, so if I, if I'm moving temperance, yeah, I might not have the chance to actually move Solomon as well. I can I'm move Solomon first. though. Okay, so I could move him too, but then he wouldn't be hidden anymore. Okay. But if if it gets to this to the situation in which we need to, mm -hmm. uh, then I could still, but I still I could still move him one, and it's Great. it would bring compassion yeah. down though. That's something to to note as so, well. So you know, you know oh, sorry, no. we, I just I was saying we could make it this turn if you move. Uh, problem, uh, temperance, I'm going to show the board so people at home can see what we're going <laughs> now. Temperance to here. Mm -hmm. And then Karina moves Solomon 1. Mm -hmm. I could then utilize the cards from Courage to get him the final 2. It would mean becoming no longer hidden because mm -hmm. I'd be moving 2, which yeah. means we wouldn't get the best possible outcome from the chapter. But it would probably guarantee we don't stack more danger, we don't stack more negative events, yeah. we don't lose more cards that we have True. to shuffle back. Also, we would only have one turn after yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it makes sense to to run for it and try to get it done rather than risk not getting yeah. it done and in I'm, the last turn. I'm with us as well because if we need to work collectively on that. We don't want to have danger at ten. No. And get oh, one yes. more point because then we'll be losing the game. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth saying, uh, although you guys can't unfortunately see the trike board completely, there's so much going on. If your danger just go just go off the top past 10 into 11, or your strength goes to zero, your clarity goes to zero, your compassion goes to zero, any of those things happen, it's game over. It's game over because Solomon loses his strength. He loses his ability to be rash and thoughtful. He just loses his mind completely if he loses all clarity or it becomes the world becomes shrouded in darkness. So we need to keep an eye on these things. And right now, we're only going to be playing a couple of chapters, but over 10 chapters in an act, you need to be making decisions that are related to this board all the time. Um, okay, I, I really like this plan. So, yeah. Karina, so let me go first. Yeah, then. So oh, right. Babis goes first and moves Temperance. Yeah, because yeah. you can be done with any two deaths. Yeah, yeah. Then I can move uh, Solomon. Yeah, and then, and then can... you'll go third. Well, I, I I can try to move Solomon. <laughs> let's 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 rephrase. I can try. Well, you'll get one donated dice probably from Babis, right? Yeah, sure. Yes. So, I still need two. Why don't I move Solomon first then, and I can move him one? And I can move him two, and it's the same thing. Yes, but and it's then... safer that way, maybe. Perfect. I like that. Because then it, if, if we're fine with potentially not being hidden, mm -hmm. so yeah. it, it, I can move him two, and then we're good. Yes, there's there's a courage card which would let me move him one space. Perfect. So, so you maybe just want to have us move, move Temperance to here, maybe? Maybe... No, yeah, no, but no, still, yeah. we're going to leave him susceptible for a... To another for event. Yeah, yeah. We don't no. want that. No, that wouldn't maybe. be... So let... Let temperance roll the dice. The fiend. 
decisive bit. <laughs> so, hmm. And one thing I'll just say, well, you're having a little think as well, because I didn't mention this. I know there was a question at the very start of the stream about the uh, Mercy dice and the, uh, sorry, Mercy cubes and the Luck, luck cubes. Yeah. We haven't got them here because specifically they're not actually related to this chapter, but chapters will give her opportunities, as will discovery cards, yeah. to have these things trigger. Unfortunately, we will not be using them here, but it is something that will be in the final rules, of course, because they're in the box. And in the next live as well. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm yes. sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I kind of feel left out now. I don't get you to have spoil to come back. Anything. You have to come back. Uh, I'm sorry. I feel bad. I'm giving you a spoiler. <laughs> okay. okay. So in that case, I'll actually turn my fear over to um, bravery. Because that's what Karina needs. Yeah, and oh. donate it to justice. Right. Thank you. Oh, that, and that I'm gonna and, kind of... and I'm gonna use my pain and fear. Yeah. I'm impervious to that. Because I'm a I'm a virtue, and move myself. Yeah. So if you yeah, can show it. So yeah. just this is right on right on the card for for temperance. That any two dice can be used to move temperance two spaces. But this dice this is then discarded to your discard pile. Yeah. And I'll be moving myself then yep. over into Solomon's yes. space to protect him from everything. The darkness. Well, not the not the not stars, yeah. but the the ethereal beings. Yeah. The spiritual hunters. <laughs> him right behind. That's amazing. Yeah. I love it. Uh, <laughs> it's perfect, like, yeah. Yeah. Trying to protect him. Hello. Uh, okay, so you then need to replenish sure. two cards. Yes. So it's at this point you replenish the one you used and the one that was previously discarded, and Precisely. then you'll draw back up. The Precisely. Okay. So I'll be placing a card that lets me add one clarity. Okay. And one card that lets me add or remove one darkness card from the deck. Okay, okay. Back so increasing the time. If we need more time. Yeah. Back so that hand. could let us not need to move two. Potentially. Move one, one, one. True. Okay. Potentially. So I'm going to draw two cards to replenish my hand back to three. That's me. I'm going to flip over to the darkness side and let the darkness, darkness play. Okay, we have a bunch of adjacent stuff here. So one shadow uh, engages an adjacent mortal. Now we have a decision to make. So at this point, the shadow wishes to enter and actually envelop Solomon. Yeah, envelop, envelop Solomon in, in their dark nether energies. Yeah. So I'm going to take a risk, I think. Well, we have, a, we have a choice to make. Yes. So I can either let the shadow come into the yeah. space and I will repel it with my energies. Yeah. And that will result in both of us getting eradicated and okay. removed from the board. Yeah. Um, or... I will just ward it off, mm -hmm. keep it there, yeah. and increase the danger level by one. So I have something to tell you, looking ahead slightly. Uh, the shadow closest to Solomon is going to try and engage us at two. So looking okay. at the board right now, if you vanquish him and remove temperance on this, this shadow is then going to actually get us. Okay. So I am with you on the risk decking and repelling this one, mm -hmm. keeping it in place and increasing the danger by one. Perfect. Because I. That next shadow, that that should be the one that maybe you. Remember. Which means that we don't get to draw an event card at all, then. Yeah. Which is yeah. great. But the danger goes up by one. Yeah. yeah. Which we can afford is that. Well, it's about to go to. Well, can we afford doing that? <laughs> well, it's too easy. I couldn't. What, I couldn't, what did you say? It's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> it was too easy. Like, how can you? Don't humor that. <laughs> come on, come on. You can do better. You've got high standards. I can do better, but it was just too you easy. You didn't laugh it at was... Puritan puree. <laughs> Corinne, just admit it. This was, this, no, this was uh, just really bad. It was really bad, but I'm sorry. The puritan puree was disgusting. It just it was it was not it was not appetizing in any way, manner, or fashion. It just sort of appetizing. <laughs> well, well, we know you're not a cannibal. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in case, I was you know yeah, I was yeah, yeah. I, I, just... I tried to make that clear. Just okay. in case you were doubting. So I'll be warding this off. I, I assume you agree. Sorry, with with what we just. Yes. <laughs> well, let me tell yeah. you that. Even though we do have a chance to actually discuss about this, this is a rather individual thing to decide because yeah. I am the virtue yeah. itself. So I am temperance. Yeah. No matter what you say, yeah. I get to do whatever I do. I want to do oh, but and be nice. temperate please as do, cool as ever. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> we, we can still suggest things. Yeah, right? sure. So, yeah, sure. Yeah, but that's that's that makes sense. I I, I do agree yeah. with the suggestion. But you, sir, 
Oh, fantastic. So, <laughs> I'll <work. laughs> so I'll work this off and yeah. increase the danger level by one. Yes, so danger is now on six. Yes. yes. So again, it's having no effect, but if it goes to seven, nemesis actions, big bad actions, will start to gain bonuses against us. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Okay, then mm -hmm. we have an adjacent scout is going to search for us. Okay. So okay. right now on the board, we have two adjacent scouts. Mm -hmm. So one of these is going to search. Mm -hmm. uh, because we have the search card, it tells us if they are adjacent, they start with a one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we have to add a rabble. Yes. OK. Go ahead, Bonus. Let's, uh... OK. Ooh, that's a three. So that's a four. That's a four. So we have, again, we have a look at the search card. And it will tell us that if someone searches and they get a four, we need to go to discovery card 51. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit concerned about this one. I'm yes. a little more concerned. Um, so, suspicious. <gasps> Something cracks under Solomon's foot and the scout turns towards him. As Solomon hugs the ground closely, trying to become invisible, he realises that he's trodden on a human skull. Boom, oh, boom, boom. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do it? It's... <laughs> it is. I need to focus. There's a lot of pressure on it. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll walk in. Okay. He realizes that he's trodden on a human skull. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> What's worse, the scout is clearly suspicious now. If the scout is in the same area as Solomon Cain, plus one danger. Okay. See what you did with your tune? <laughs> oh, you no. just attracted him into. So he's point. not in the same area. No. Yeah. That's okay. However, if the scout is in a different area, move him one towards Cain. Thank you, Karina. He stepped on the skull. <laughs> I just made the sound effect. It's, it's, I did not step on a skull. On his scenic face. <laughs> just admit it. You would have checked that as well. <laughs> right? Oh, <man. laughs> so he's stepping in here, right? <laughs> you can say that in the, the jungles of Africa where the cannibals live, every day they're on birds just going boom, 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 boom. Yeah. You're saying, you're saying this is a new, and that would attract their attention. It's not like that. It's like boom, boom, boom. No, no, see, no, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> this is so weird. So, <clears throat> it is. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We should get back to the Wait. game at some point. One but... second. Let me do this. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> okay. Okay. You need, you need to be a bit dramatic. That's more you justified. Need to put, yeah. Yeah, I feel like we now need an add-on with a sign track that you yeah. can play with, or an app on your phone. With so when... how much? Really? Yes. No, but look, long story short, <laughs> is we're not yet discovered. Yeah. He's only moved into our space. And right now we're hugging the, the ground closely. Yeah. He doesn't know where we are yet. So we can hold here if we want yeah. to reasonably safely, except for the fact that we don't have that time. I'm the shadow sure. closest to Solomon moves to to engage him. Mm -hmm. So that's going to happen. Uh, it's going to be either this yeah. one or that one. Because uh, they, they have it's the non not be adjacent. It's non-adjacent okay. and it's closest. So, it so one, two, he's three away. Yeah, he is. So it has to no, be. he's. Oh yeah, he is. So it has sorry. to be him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because it's. One, yeah, yeah. So, so he's going to yeah. move one, and then you have to decide, Temperance, well, if you want to put the danger up to seven. No, I'm going to sacrifice myself. I think. I'm so glad you're saying that because I do not want danger at seven. It's really. really oh. 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 See. A phase sad out of existence, just, right? That was, that was really holy, <laughs> but in a sad way. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, we're not done. We're not. We're not done. The scout closest to Solomon, non-adjacent one, uh -huh. searches. So this one is two away, this one is two away, so hmm. uh, it's not going to change anything. We can go with this guy. Sure. Uh, well, no, actually, maybe we could. We should actually go with this guy in case we don't want him to move forward. Will he be moving forward? He later? could. He, it depends what they're coming to search. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. So yeah, this yeah, guy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's try it with that one over there. Okay, so he. So again, we look at the card. He's not. He's farther away, so it's a zero he starts with. We flip a rabble number. Three. Three. So three takes us to D14, uh, which, again, I think we're, we're okay. Yes. So not a okay. sign. The scout okay. thinks he hears something, but okay. the scout does not see <laughs> Solomon. That's a relief. Mm -hmm. That's a relief. Um, oh, man, if that had been a really high number and he had, like, either discovered us or come running towards us, that could have just got dead bad. Yeah. Um, we also have to spawn at X because danger is still on three shadows. Oh, you're kidding. It's even better now, right? <laughs> He's got well, I'm really happy with my decision to go this way around the board. That was great. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I also wanted to come this way. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, agreed. No you agreed with me. Plus, we can accuse her of everything, right? Yes, we can. I'm really she can. will be here for the next live stream. We can put it all in green and not. True, but I'll be in the comments. 
<laughs> what did there as? I'm going to have to rewatch the, the live stream later to see if we're giving me hate for being so mean. Um, so whose turn was that? Uh, it that was, was mine. Yes. Yeah. Karina? No, me? No, it's you. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, hold on. well, things have changed on the board a lot. Yes. yes. Um, that is true. I, so this path, one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, is clear. This path is three, but it has a shadow in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I was able to rule well, I could use one of Courage's uh, cards to move Solomon two, and I could trigger the run for your life to get an extra movement and literally go one, two, three. Yeah. But we would trigger not only an event and a danger for running, mm. but also we would not get the best outcome on the chapter because we'd lose the hidden. But I almost want to do it. Which makes sense. Um, I just... need I need a lot of because i can also move him so on my turn if you move him twice mm -hmm. i could move him afterwards twice again uh yeah so we, we could do this so we, we could, could do go the for it. one two one two the downside being once we get once we do one two we're, we're here and we're now revealed yeah which means these guys turn yeah. from scouts to hunters yeah which could be cool but because we would like to show everyone at home a bit more oh you're probably. so <laughs> You're so free. Sacrificing ourselves for the people at home, right? <laughs> this non mythic Ian's here just like, chuck them in. No, that's, that was actually not the point I was making. No, I said I, it was cool because we yeah. could show them that, but because we would like to show them maybe more today rather than start crying because we screwed up okay, <laughs> the first okay. 30 minutes, we should probably be a bit more Cautious. prudent. Prudent. See what? Prudence wouldn't have them bolting through. I'm That's using I'm using Courage's ability okay. to make. Oh, you think we should be prudent and like, slow? Yes, maybe. How many how many cards do we have left? My... Three. Three. So we could go one, two, yeah. and then we would rely on another move plus the danger yeah. to get there. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to work out being the same because if we go two, two, we lose the hidden either at this point or at this point. But see, if we actually move one yeah. and we get ourselves in a real trouble, yeah. We can actually choose a one of cards' cards yeah. and move two okay. and leg it. Okay. So we'll be moving three. So you say move one first and just be gentle. Yeah, and I just agree with that. That's, that's right? what I meant because if you move one here yeah. on your turn, yeah. then. Okay. I just realized something. What? If we move out of the space with the guy, if we decide to move away from here, we're going to lose the hidden. We're going to lose the hidden. Yeah. We, oh, we, so we, it we, we, matter. Have, we have to wait for him to move out of the space and move oh, past no. us before we can get out of here. And we have three darkness so, cards left. Can we afford to do that? Can we afford to wait an entire turn? Oh. God. And the hope that he's going to patrol past. I completely missed that. I was so focused yeah. on. So uh, if oh. we actually move here by being prudent and stuff like that, and well, losing the way, hidden, you know, it won't serve us. Double dash. Purpose. Two and two. Can we do that? I can hopefully use two from courage card, and then you uh -huh. have your move two. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I... we roll well, yeah. yes, we can. But see, if your turn ends, then they will get to respond. I think. And this, yeah. This is and, and that was my concern before I realized that that was this, that, that was the case. I figured you can be cautious, and then I'll run for it because that leaves. Well. But now it doesn't matter anymore because the only way I can be oh. cautious is if I. If okay. I literally donate to you, reserve some dice, and maybe shuffle my cards back in, just prepare okay. for a turn, and we have to hope he walks past us. Yeah, but let's try that. Uh, let's try. Yeah. We only have so we I'm have for, I'm your for turn. We have my turn, and then uh -huh. we have another one turn. Yeah. That's it. It feels. Yes. Oh, guys. <laughs> I know it's using a curry's card, which we can't get back until the end of ten chapters. You know, in this case, we're not going to play them all, but it was something you would use to take into consideration. For this, though, I would I would dash. I okay. would take the risk at one yeah. round of attacks and hopefully we get out with our lives. Would you dash just now then? What? Would you yeah, dash, dash just yeah. now? Okay. Just do you agree? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I don't think either is a good choice. Guys, I'm gonna move one, one two, three. No, no, no. One, no, one, <laughs> one, two, yeah. one, two. We... And why not go one, two, three? In one go? Yeah. Because they will put the danger up one and we'll have an event. My danger's yeah. already at six. Yeah. <laughs> I have, I'm, 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 oh, I'm no. having a really bad feeling about them. I'm sorry. Having I'm, a turn they, missed you. they missed that face you made. It let, was epic. Let me, just, <laughs> let me just do it again. Like, right? This is accurate. This is what we just saw. That yeah. was. Because I saw you and then I looked in the, in the monitor. I was like, no, they can't see this. That, that, okay. was, that was pure. Mm. Oh. Desperation, right? 
I want to say gold, but um, we'll go. Okay. So in terms of the chapter, are we kind of resolved to the fact we're very unlikely to reach the objective hidden? Yeah, no. It doesn't feel like it's feasible. Yeah, no. If we, if we had gone the other way or we spent more time bringing another virtual yeah. sort of to the board, we might have. But the amount of events that have triggered on us has been so bad. Plus it all depends on the, on the darkness yeah. card that we get. So True. this is the, the, the reality that we yeah. got now. So. I'm going to be bold. I'm just saying I'm going to see what I roll because if I don't roll the things to move them, that might just yeah, make the decision for us. That is true. Uh, that is so true. I got myself a faith, a bravery, and a pain. Um, so for courage, she had a couple of move options, actually. Um, um, yeah, I could use the move something key in one closer to an enemy objective and then do the run through. No, let's not do run through life because it's danger. Where's her move to? Move to deplete strength. Oh, if I run fast, it's going to... I'm going to do it. I, 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 I think we just run and deplete strength a little bit and hopefully we I'm in. die. Mm. I'll take full responsibility. I'm saying it now. I'll take full responsibility. No, you're going to blame me. <laughs> There's no chance. I'm gonna I'm grabbing it. Okay. So I need a faith and a bravery. I should okay. just so I'm keeping those so and I, that leaves me with a pain. What would you you need a determination potentially? So for my original three dice that I rolled, I will flip the pain into okay. determination and I will donate that to you. Thank you. You're welcome. And then I will bring my three dice together from my reserve as well. So I'll have a, a bravery and a faith. And my leftover, I will simply keep reserved because that is a candidate to you because okay, you're done. Yeah, sure. So I will trigger Courage's card, which is move Solomon Cain too closer to an enemy or objective. We'll flip that over. At the cost of a strength, right? Cost of, of a strength. A strength. Mm. We're, we're on four strength. If this gets to zero, we will die. Mm. And I move Solomon two, which means we are now no longer hidden. We're revealed. But we didn't have to use one for your life, which means the danger doesn't go up, which is good. But that means now the scouts are hunters, yeah? Yeah. And that's, that, that tells us, dictated on the chapter card. Yeah. yeah. Right. Pretty sure this would be more accurate. Um. Yep. Yep. I like it. And I really hope this guy is not going to come and ruin our day. Okay. Darkness card. Let's. Uh, oh, no, hold on. I need to replenish. Sorry. I will sure. replenish myself. Actually, just... with a modify any track. So maybe we can get the danger right, back again. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, this is okay. Darkness card is bad. This is gonna be bad. No, it's not. It's going to be just fine. Uh, a scout moves one north. There are no scouts. That's fine. A shadow or a hunter will engage a mortal. So we can now choose an adjacent one, right? An adjacent one. So it's either this shadow or one of these two hunters. I, I, say, I, I say we do the hunters. I don't want more events. We can take it. Can we? We might. We might repost them. We might. Like they, if they yeah. swing and they miss, we might. He's Solomon Gate. Yeah. There's only two of them. We can. Plus, there are only fair two enough. hunters adjacent to him. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So it's only an engage of one. And again, that's that's dictated by the card. Yeah. So how does that play out by us in terms of the rules? So now? we take the base number one. that says one, yeah. and then we choose an attacker that will be initiating the attack. Okay. Let's say that the attacker is this person, okay, right? Sure. Okay, so we'll be drawing a card. Mm -hmm. We'll be uh, adding up the rubble number. Let's do it. And the, okay. so yeah. the rubble number is at two. So we're currently on three mm -hmm. for their strength so far. Mm -hmm. And then we get to add up one per miniature that's adjacent to Solomon. So King. supporting, basically. Yes. So this guy here. And the, and the shadow as well. Okay, so one is a base strength. He got a two, so it's up to three, four, five. five. And what what do we do with the outcome then? We're going to look from the chapter tells us which card to look at. Yes. So, uh, uh, can you see? I know. Yes, it's seventy two. Yes. Okay. So, oh my goodness, a wild blue. The warrior's attack is wild and badly aimed, and Solomon avoids it easily. While his attacker is off balance, Solomon makes a break for it. So if Solomon moves one. Awesome. Whoa, wow, that, that, was, whoa. that was lucky. Um, it's Solomon okay. King. True, but it's us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, I think it's a clear choice. Yes. Yeah. Here. However, future fights against Solomon 
are now result resolved in a different way. So instead of using the chapter card, which told us before, we're now using these, which will take us to new discovery cards, depending on how hard they hit us. Yes. So this now remains in play. It opens up a brand new story right now. Yeah. Yeah. So you get to experience a different kind of a cinematic combat. Yeah. Just right now. Yeah. I would have loved to have reposted and just taken down. That would have been even better. Maybe, maybe we get lucky next time. Um, what do we have now? So that's your noise. This one has acted. Now. <laughs> so now we're going on to non-adjacent. So the most northerly scout moves to south. It's, we don't have a scout anymore. Oh yes, of course, because they're all hunters. They're all hunters. Uh, the shadow farthest from Solomon moves to to engage him. Non-adjacent. So that would be this one, possibly. Uh, one, two, no, three. it's that one. One, two, three. three. It's the same. Oh. And yeah, I think that one over there. Yeah. Sure. Two. Did you say two? Two. Oh, oh, chasing right after him. Um, all hunters move one to engage Solomon. Oh. Perfect. Is Perfect. That... Yeah, so uh, it, it was an ironic thing. So. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. sorry. That, was, that sounded so this genuine. Was perfect. I was, I was very confused. This guy activated, so it yeah. means the whole man that was muted by yeah. the And this guy, two, two, yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Hmm. Just making an, an, an encircling motion. So these two have both moved up and they're going to engage at a three. Yeah. Okay. So it would be three. Yeah. Yeah. Plus uh, a card for the rabble, which in this case is a two. So it goes to five. Yes. Five. And since he's attacking, yeah. it would be six, <gasps> seven, uh -huh. eight. Solomon Nine. Kane. Nine. Nine. Nice <laughs> yeah. Solomon Cain is encircled. Okay, so we have to look at the card that we revealed before, which is a wild blue. Now mm -hmm. tells us that a seven to nine gets a thirty-four from yes. the discovery deck. Oh no, 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 no! Come on, come on, Solomon! Come on, come on! Stand off! <sighs> Solomon is at a match for his assailants, and the brief skirmish leaves neither side with an advantage. There's no effect, however. Future fights against Solomon are getting worse, so we've now got diff three different cards again from before that we could now draw into. I'm afraid that the next heal would actually be a critical one. Yeah. We can't we can't be yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, There's a lot of pressure right now. Because, <laughs> because these There's card, a lot of pressure right These now. cards do have memory, guys. Yeah. They drag you down the the bad path. Yeah. Trina, please get us out of here. Justice, <laughs> justice, please get us out of here. Yes. Um that for now is that <laughs> We have only two darkness cards left. I'm trying to think. I don't want to metagame too much, but I kind of do because I like the puzzle. If we had stayed where we were and hadn't moved, would they have moved out of the way? I don't know. Uh, so what, what scout movement was on there? Scout, adjacent scout? An adjacent scout would have moved north. So he would have yeah, moved he would have there. left. Okay. No, but he would have still been in the way. So yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, no, he was and the other, the other scouts would and have moved had, south. We had a time constraint. Yeah. It, it makes this made more sense. This was sense. the best decision this, at the moment. This yeah, 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 yeah. was. Yeah. Um, um, you just, so you just so, need to roll one feet. Roll man. the dice, Karina. There's two feet in every dice. The odds of you not rolling a feet are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just give you all this free area over here. No. Over here to... I wanted to be visible so people see we don't cheat. So just... There you go. Yeah. Just one feet. Okay. See. Two feet. Two feet. <laughs> <laughs> Were you feeling the pressure there? Yes. <laughs> You literally said, please get us out of here. That was... Okay. 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 So, shall, uh, yeah. shall I put it here? No, it's okay. I think we're here. So, oh, good. Cool. compassion is done by so, one. Yes. Compassion we're, is we're done by one. We're becoming less compassionate, right? We're so, not I'm going to use one. the dice I had reserved. We can move two because we're not hitting anymore, so yeah. it doesn't actually matter. Um, so but You can reserve your leftover dice, or you could shuffle um, your discard back in. Reserve one and shuffle your discard. I think... I think that might not be a bad idea at this point, to be honest, because I have a move in here and I have placed justice on the board. Yeah, I think that that's definitely. So I'm going to um, reserve um, fate and yes, yes, I okay. like this. Cool. Cool. Cool, um, cool, cool, cool. I would recommend if you wish using this first and then shuffling, because then you'll get that as well. <gasps> Man, I mean. Yes, no, but that's true because that's technically this yeah, wouldn't yeah. go to the discard pile. And I did place my dice there first, so clearly that was the first yeah. action. So whenever you, whenever you're playing, what you'll do is you'll roll your dice, do any flips or rerolls, and then everything comes together in a pool. You allocate them all out, so that includes donating and actions, and then you resolve after you've done all your, your allocations. Yeah. Essentially. 
Sorry, I got too excited. No, no, no. That, that, to be honest, that was perfect. Cool. I, I, I'm just hoping that we don't have to get into a conversation with a cannibal because we're not going to be able to talk him out of yeah, having yeah. spare Solomon ribs. So important to mention, I moved, right? You're welcome. But did you hear that sound? It was a... Um, Why would he do that? He's actually running for his life now. Yeah, but he had the objective. It's like, you know... Okay, yeah. Yeah. As he slides down the flagpole and gets a thousand bones <laughs> and a one-up. Golden coin. Right? Right? Right so you get to refill your left uh, yes. hand slot. Okay. Yes. So, uh, Babas, we've reached the objective. What happens? So let's see. According to the objective, okay. we scored one victory point. For reaching the objective. However. We are not hidden. So we're we do not, not get the second one. Yeah. Somikin is not defeated. So we don't lose any. We go to 3B. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> I never know if you're being sarcastic anymore. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> give us three. Give us three B. So again, I'm going to pass it over. Actually, sure. gonna, I'm not going to give anything away because I don't want to spoil um, to people at home because this obviously is the first couple of chapters in a thirty chapter three act thing. But it's just to show that you had three very, very, very different potential outcomes. I'm not going to show any more than that. So we're taking three B. So this is a story. This is a scene. So we're not going to be using the board. So we'll tidy up the board a little. To get rid of some of these things. Uh, oh, God, you guys are efficient. I wish I had you at my board game nights to tidy up after. <laughs> so Solomon Cain just manages to evade his pursuers. Very accurate. He rests briefly, though he doesn't feel entirely safe yet, and must push on quickly. So we're going to get just one round, essentially four darkness cards four. of sort of respite. Um, where we as virtues are going to be able to take a second to try and hopefully increase Solomon's strength or kind of increase his compassion, maybe might be a good idea, maybe lower the danger. Mm -hmm. um, but also what we need to do is look ahead to chapter four. Um, now there's three potential outcomes here. Um, if, huh, here we go, I'll start with this one. If the danger is five or less, but darkness is winning on chapter four, we'll go to 4B. If danger is five or less and we have a majority light on chapter four, we go to 4A. A little bit of prototype right in there behind the scenes. And if danger is six or higher, we will go to 4C. Right now, guys, uh, the danger is six. So we need to find a way of lowering. Um, I have modified any track by one. Mm -hmm. It requires a lot of dice. It requires four dice. I have one in reserve. The other thing that's worth noting because we got here is there's an action available to all of us. For two of any dice plus two faith, we can place a light onto one of the future chapters which require light. We obviously want to try and maybe get onto chapter four at this point. Yeah. There are five darkness slots on chapter four. We would need to get at least three to be able to stay on the good path. But okay. if we don't get the danger down to less than six, it's not going to matter. We need to get the danger below six. Okay. That's, That's so correct. We had a card which bumped danger. We had the virtue. Oh no, we had the shadow uh, bumping in and defending with yeah. the virtue. We had to do that. Like, yeah. that it seemed like there the right no... thing to do. We, we couldn't have known. Yeah. No, and there was no water. That was the best choice at the moment. Um, yeah. I'll get rid of this. This is, this we... is gone right now. Yes. We're on to a new chapter. We might have not made it this far if we wouldn't have done that. Yeah. So. It's, it's a trade off. Sometimes the tracks are things you're going to have to just live with. Okay. On a positive oh, yes. note, I do have an action of placing a light. Okay. So that could be positive. With only two mm -hmm. dice yeah. as well. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So maybe Karina starts, Vavis second, you're drawing a card, and me <laughs> last to right? modify the track. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's say that you go oh. third, right? I'll go third. Yeah, yeah, you go third, and I go first. I go second. Yep. Yeah, because I don't get to do anything else. So. Yeah. so in a story, you basically just get four turns. So if you're playing with one person, two players, three players, four players, it doesn't matter. You get four darkness cards, essentially, to play out the story and hopefully give Solomon a little boost, a moment to rest, a bit of peace and quiet, keep the danger away from him. <sighs> okay? Yeah. Let's play. Mm -hmm. hmm. Karina. I think I've just found one of those dice that you threw across oh, the no. room earlier. I did not throw it. <laughs> I mean, you kind of. I rolled it. <laughs> and gravity. Did the rest. Issues. What, what, what face did it fall in? <gasps> oh, I think it was faith, but I didn't pay attention. Oh. You're going to have faith, right? Okay. <laughs> very subtle. Very subtly putting that in there. Sure. I would like a faith actually, by the way, for my modify any track because it's bravery, determination, faith, and okay. anything. So faith would be good. Sure, Corina, what about you? Um, da, 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 da. 
Well, I would quite like to use this. I can also, we discussed compassion a bit earlier. Okay. I could also at some, potentially um, raise the compassion. Uh, if compassion was to go down three more times. We would be, would be Yeah, I need free dice for it though. So, so this is this is kind let, of- Let me help you then. So, I, will, I will turn uh, pain. pain over to determination. Yeah, because okay. that and would help me for yeah, either. That's perfect. Thank you. I appreciate you. that. That You're would help welcome. me. And I'll Thank be donating you. faith to us, and I'm gonna reserve my own faith. Would, you, would shuffling your discard be of any use to you at this stage? Do you have a lot of cards? Hmm. It might be, so I can. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, not for now. No, so then no. keep that better. Yeah. And on another note, since I haven't used any of my abilities here, I'm gonna discard this card okay. and place this one. Here, which lets me manifest myself on the board. That would be for the next chapter, possibly. Okay. 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 I'm going to. Because we know the next chapter is a scene. We can see ahead, a, so we can yeah. plan a little. Yeah. Uh, it does say here on top, so it's it's got to be a scene. Darkness card. Darkness card. There you go. Yeah. Now, instead of reading the whole thing, yeah, you so just we don't read... need to worry about any of this. Yeah. We're just looking at the story. Precisely. So all virtues discard one donated dice. <laughs> This is so malevolent. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, guys. <laughs> you said it young. Um, randomly rearrange the player order. Really? Oh god. Let me do that. It would be so. So we have. Just, it'll be funny. Like, it would be funny. funny yeah. Give it to me for just a second. I'll oh, show people sure. at home. Um, so flipping these over show you that, of course, you have uh, your turn, and then darkness gets a turn. But also, when the player order gets randomised, you have the same. We have obviously, you guys through stretch goals have upgraded these to plastic tokens, so they'll be nicer than this. But just to show you. So that is gone. I would... That's you, Karina, and that's you, as Enjoy, guys. Please, please don't gather. Yeah. I still got three. Okay. That's good. That's good. That could be. That could be nasty. I don't like relying on my own ability to roll dice correctly. No. It's not a. It's not okay. A good thing. Shall we just go for it? Yes. You you want to play some light, hopefully. Yeah. And then potentially save yeah. for compassion. This would be this would be the priority. Don't okay. I feel like that makes a lot yeah. of sense right now. Um. So fear, pain, faith. Oh man. Yeah. You could flick the. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we can. Our fear becomes bravery. Flip this mm -hmm. one. Um, and I can use this one as a wild. Yes, you can. So basically, it would become determination. Yeah. And we could place a light. Yeah. I, before, we need to decide what you're doing with your other dice as well. If you yes. were willing, I'd love to have the faith that you have in your reserve. Um, she can she can donate that I'm afraid. But because it's not come into her pool first, and then she can donate the dice out from her pool. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. No, I, well, then, I, I think, she, she could donate me this one that she rolled, yes. and then that one. Could I be think that there. you can only donate dice that you have rolled yeah. right now. So. Okay, we'll say that. Then uh, would you know? They no, I know. So oh, sorry. Yes, true. true. Keep true. it. Or, no, you shuffle. True. True. Back anyway. Yeah, no. So I'll keep it in my reserve because this could be handy for compassion. Mm -hmm. um, next Perfect. call. So then, um, mm, can we is. get light? Okay. Some light on the next so my dice Sorry for you want My bring, card gets discarded. No, it's okay. okay. And then I will. We've got one light and four darkness. We need to get it to three light at least and two darkness to. And we need the danger down. And well. lower the danger. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy. Okay. I'm glad there you go. I'm glad we're playing a couple of chapters. <laughs> be too <laughs> stressful. Yeah, I know. That's why you have the save mechanics. You play three or four, save oh, and say, I've got to let my anxiety come down. Do some yoga, relax um, a bit. Oh my God. <laughs> Is it the yoga? No, it's plus one danger. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> okay. There, there's no hope. Okay. Oh my God. Turn, quickly turned over to desperation, <laughs> right? <laughs> you were so positive. Everything was perfect two minutes ago. I'm just having a look to see what we could do with courage, but I think we use we use some of courage's abilities earlier on uh, in the first chapter that I'm not going to do nothing because they've been gone. I don't think I've anything. I have a way to place two light next turn, but it increases danger. Mm. I can move it to six, but I can't move it lower. I, I can't. Oh, we could all. Uh, no. I don't think. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it loose. No. I really don't think so. 
I, I can't help at least. That's anyway. danger really help. It really hit us hard. I still yeah. think we should move it down by one. Um, even if we're going to head into a, a bad yeah. chapter, I think we because should. Because we'll be giving the nemesis a, a yeah. boost if we're actually yeah. Yeah. leave it as is. Okay. Um, so I'm after bravery, determination should kind of get me there. Bravery, bravery, fear. Uh, that's still okay, but I'm going to re-roll this bravery. Okay, so I have these and these in my pool. Um, so with a bravery, a faith, a wild faith, and then just a fear, I will modify the danger track back down to six. So okay. out of the nemesis um, enhancement range. Not okay. ideal, but better. One dice left. Do you know what? I'm going to use it to shuffle my um, discard back into my deck Fair because um, I would like the ability to modify tracks in case we need to get our health up or we can bring the danger down, but I don't. I mean, I could draw it, but so I'm not going to get two, one round left after this, so I'm not yeah. no. So I replenish. I'm going to get this Prudence on the board. I'm going to follow the same line as you. I mm -hmm. think we may need it. And draw, no, I don't remove a darkness card. Might give us more time. Okay. Darkness card, my man. My Let's man. go. Over there. So, so randomly rearranged player order. We're at the end of the round, so that's fine. And one version discards all donated dice. Again, we're at the end of the round, so that's also fine. Why couldn't you have... Oh, oh why not? <laughs> that? Okay, new round then. Yes, and we have just one... one player turn. Yeah, one so, player turn. Because of the three potential outcomes, we can't get the danger down, so realistically we just need to set up somebody. Yeah. So if somebody rolls three dice and gives the other players a couple, um, I have all players who have not started their turn this round may add one to reserve. If I could kind of set up and do that first next turn, no matter what comes, mm -hmm. I can hopefully set you guys up to react to it. Yeah. That could be good. So that would involve one of you guys going now and then donating a dice yeah. to me and a dice to someone else. I don't know. Realistically, yeah. the only thing I can do that really, really makes sense is either uh, get uh, plus one compassion mm -hmm. Or I can add one darkness card to the deck from this supply. I don't think it's going to give us enough time. I don't think so either. I think it, I think it would be pointless. Mm. It, it, as in, it, if we had, if I, if one of us had another card ready to lower the danger, yeah. it would be perfect. Right? Yeah, yeah, but it's not. It, yeah, it's, it's okay. Option, so, but, uh, so Babas, do so you yeah. want to take the, the final round sure. of this story and then maybe just donate some dice to us so we are prepared for the next one? Does sure. That yeah. 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 Definitely. Um, yeah. Up to you, sir. So a pain, a faith, and a bravery. I just don't know what you need. And um, for me, um, I uh, the pain would actually be great. Pain or bravery? Pain, uh, pain or bravery actually both fine for me. Um, okay. Same here. The same as well. So I'm gonna give pain to us and bravery to Karina. And I'm gonna reserve my faith. Nice. Right. Very good. Oh, I put it straight on the card. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was going straight. I got excited. So, um, and we have a final darkness then. Do I wish to discard a card? No. What have you got currently? Place temperance, so and... place temperance on the board and add or remove one darkness card. I uh, I need them both, I think, so I won't be discarding. Oh, I really could have bought some more time, actually. Damn it. Hmm. Okay, it's all right. We're, we're, we're going to have to just deal with the bad outcome and yeah. see what happens next. So, um, minus one strength, clarity, or compassion. Clarity is by far the highest. Yeah. Compassion's on three, strength four, clarity five. So purely on that basis, yeah. I would be giving that up a little. Completely agree. Let's give him minus one clarity then. So down to four. Oh my God, these tracks are getting punished. <laughs> that was not a very good respite, guys. We no. didn't. Um... No. Okay. But don't fret. What's the outcome of the chapter then? So the was... outcome of the chapter is four C. Okay. So I'm trying to grab. A, B, and C, and pass me C. There you go. Uh, here you go. Kind of concerned. <laughs> okay, so Solomon Cain manages. This is a brand new thing. Sorry, You've not seen this yet? No, I've seen it. Oh. But it has a. Yeah, yeah. carry on. I, I'm going to explain later on. So. I wish you'd explain to me now, but all right. Yeah. Solomon Cain <laughs> manages to lose the pursuing warriors for a time, and he makes good ground in their absence. However, he's not free yet. Finally, with safety in his sights, he drops his guard for a moment and a scout spots him. A warning cry rings out. The chase is on. I now see some oh, new stuff. Oh, my word. Okay, so we've got a list here of everything that we're going to have to put in the board, and we have... Before you go through the yeah. list, this is the first chance, uh, the first time that we are actually showing this okay. in live. Yeah. Cool. We get an extended map 
that would get to play on. I don't, and I, I, I didn't realize that's what you were going to say because I, <laughs> I knew this. I have a tank here. I'm not going to lie. So I'll just reiterate to anyone watching. Of course, this is still a prototype. We're using an extra board here, but this is going to give you an example of with the tiles. There will be times where you'll play on a two by two, a two by three, maybe even a single tile if you're inside. Well, I so again. I knew this. I knew this was coming. I'm not going to lie. I knew this. Was, I thought. God, I thought you were. I thought there was something else you hadn't told me, and I was like, no, I'm for not. a moment, you made me really scared. <laughs> um uh so dun, dun, dun. so just bear with us guys as i say of course we're still prototyping the moment so this is going to form one area now yeah this will form an area yeah. as will this and here and here and um, the black line you do not need to worry about and yeah. um, of course in the final version you will have double-sided strong cardboard tile stock tiles that will match up and we have heard also the feedback on the art we're actually currently working on some new art for each of the settings because again for us be it forest, savanna, jungle, um, a tavern, a swamp, uh, moors, it has to feel right. And we know that there's improvement to be done in this, so we're going to absolutely do that. You know the setup for this, yeah. I hope. Okay, so we need, where did I put him? Here he is. We need Solomon. That would be here. Here. We need three shadows. Oh my god. Um, we also need four tribal warriors. Oh wow. Oh my, oh yes, they're coming right behind us. That's amazing. Uh, I have the rest of them here. Over here? Yeah, after that, you tell over me. Here and over here. Here? Yes. Oh my God, so we're, we're surrounded? Yes, we are, I'm afraid. Um, now these are starting in hunter mode, as donated by mm -hmm. the card, uh, dictated by the card, sorry. We have a tribal champion. Oh man, there he is. Uh, now again, I'll say to everyone at home, we obviously have shown off the, a few minis on previous streams, and last night we revealed, if you're watching this later, it will not make quite sense, but over on the Solomon King Kickstarter page, we did reveal the, the Heart of Africa add-on, which has all of the, the tribal chief and the, the tribesmen. We do have two different tribes that you're going to see, actually, as we expand the world of Solomon. And these we're just using simply as prototypes as, as proxies to kind of get the game going so you guys can see that. We will have in the Heart of Africa this specific act with the minis that you have seen. They're hoarding all the minis in Paris. Please email Leo and say, Leo, send us some minis, please. <laughs> Leo, send some more, please. <laughs> the 3D printers are working overtime. We also have a tribal chief. Um, this is the good part where the tribal chief actually has planned ahead. No. And he's just... Uh, wise. Yeah. Uh, this, this is generally the first time I've seen 4C. Um, and this is way worse than whenever we played yes. the 4B outcome. <laughs> We, we were like a step ahead, we had, we had more further behind. This was not the case. Precisely. Um, we only have four darkness. Oh, man. Okay, this is it, guys. Okay. And we have an exit point as well, right? Yes, we do. Sorry, yes, we have the objective. Oh, which of is... course. No, really? Yes. Yeah. So we have, to, we have to burst past the tribe, out, out of the tribe, avoid the shadows, and get out the other side. Oh my god, man. Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Now, we only have four, but it really is only one, two, three, four, five yeah. areas, which is not the worst, but... Oh, man, this... We're surrounded. Okay, so Solomon must reach his objective. He'll get two victory points. If the danger is seven or higher, we would lose one. And if we're defeated, we would lose two. So the three potential outcomes are 5A, a 5B, a 5C. Um, we have strength four right now. <laughs> So you know what, guys? This is one of the toughest things that we got to face. If it was, let's say, for B or for A, yeah. there might have been a virtue manifested on board. Yes, because when we played for B, yeah. we had a temperance appear yes. on the board, yeah. essentially, and we had one less shadow, and we had a little bit more of a head start yeah. too. The um, chief wasn't there. This is really grim, man. Okay. Okay. On we a positive this. note. I don't want to be you eaten. could technically um i can place prudence yeah, we don't have that much time though, i can place it. myself as well i can't <laughs> <laughs> but you can you can place cards if you wish oh, but how much, how much time do we we, we only have four cards that 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 makes me slightly concerned and by yeah. slightly i mean really really concerned <laughs> So we need to run um, for our lives again, right? Okay, so my original plan was obviously to go first and donate you guys dice to your reserves, but that's using three dice to gain two. You already have two in your I reserve. already have, yeah. I have so two. This Sorry. plan is probably now yeah. out. So maybe... Do you want me to go first then? Yeah. yeah. Hmm? yeah. And use courage movement or have you and got And manifest movement? myself as well in the, on the board. I don't have... I have a movement here, but if I don't manage to roll that, I can uh, yeah. 
move as uh, on King 2 with courage yeah. disability and manifest, manifest myself just to protect us I'm to sorry. protect him against I'm yes. shadows. That's a good idea. Yeah, 100%. Cool. See, um, it's at this point that I want to throw caution to the wind and don't care about danger, just have prudence defend him and mm -hmm. let the danger go up. But if yeah. we had five more chapters to play, that's, that would be horrible, a really bad That thing would have been horrible. Yeah. It okay, would completely okay. change our actions. So what have you got to move? move? You've got to move as well. Yeah, I can move him one. Um, that's pretty much it. Because I can't, I can't get justice on the board. At least not now. No, I think um, you and I can get our virtues on. Yeah, but I, I can. I can move. Moving him. Yeah. So I'm going to move. Do you have a move in your hand um, as well? No, sadly not. I could add a darkness card here, which could give us an extra round. Not this turn, but next one. Okay. I can always add an art or darkness card. For three, mine's for two. I, I can add one for two. Okay, so I, I can do that now. Yeah, yeah, that might be actually manifest. No, he needs to move. You've got to get him moving. He can't spend time sitting no. here. No, so I'm going to move him for sure. Okay. So it's move and manifest go. or move and darkness card. Move and no. manifest. <laughs> move and manifest, I think. Yeah. Move, okay. I agree, move and manifest. I, I think we definitely need to consider adding some darkness card possibly. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Well, we'll see the how, three of we'll us have the options. Well, let's see rolls. Let's see, yeah. you know. Okay. <laughs> faith, faith, faith. Are you going to have faith? Our ambassadors do love uh, the, the triple faith roll. Uh, Guess what, guys? I can actually do any of those things. Oh. So I need to... Hmm. You can't do any of them? No, well, I mean moving or... Because you have uh, five faith. Yeah. You roll three and have to Let, be let me re-roll my faith. Um so you can definitely manifest. Um courage none of the, you need at least one symbol. Yeah, no. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna to donate manifest. two faith to you yeah. guys. Thank you. And then I'm gonna manifest myself. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, where? Well where where are you gonna move Solomon to? Just one? Um I can only move him one. So do you wanna go here? Yeah. I'm going to go straight. We're 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 just oh, sorry, running. Sorry, I think Jonathan Temple's oh, here for Solomon <laughs> to get to. Yeah, I thought it was I'm a weird question. Say here, right? Yeah, waiting for him. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let everyone see. Yeah, sure. Because she's gorgeous. Oh, man. She's not my favorite, but she is gorgeous. <gasps> yeah, Prudence. Yeah, yeah. definitely, Prudence definitely. Is the I can't wait to paint that. I'm just I'm discarding uh, this card. Yeah, because you played it. Yeah. I'm gonna refill my hand, my left hand left card. action slot. What are you going for? Hmm, a good one. So. At the cost of minus one clarity, I get yeah. to look at the top three darkness cards. Ooh. Replace each one on the top or bottom of that deck. Okay. Oh, that, that's, that could be really good. Um, um, but we have to get a darkness card now. Yeah. At least, okay. Oh man, your deck is done now too. You're, I don't. What will happen with your discard then? I get to reshuffle. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. good. For free. For free. Cool. Okay, I'm done, guys. Darkness. darkness. Please be nice to us. Please be nice to us. Please be nice to us. Okay. A scout. There are no scouts in the board. But they're all in hunter <laughs> mode. All hunters. Oh my god, we're in so much trouble. All hunters move one to engage Solomon Cain. With priority. With adjacent. This is this is sorry, this is non-adjacent hunters. So it's this one okay. and this one. Mm -hmm. But that does mean that one of them has to be chosen as attacker and the rest are going to give a bonus. Is that right? Still, when in the formation adjacent okay. to Solomon Cain, there is an attacking figure. Yeah. But there is also a villain yeah. or nemesis adjacent to Solomon Cain. So this is the nemesis. Yeah. We'll still add up the nemesis number. Okay. See, okay. so yeah, because this he's, one he's might, fighting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this one might be attacking, but we'll be adding the nemesis number because they're he's involved in yeah. the fight. Yeah. Their champion is involved yeah. in the fight. And it's yeah. a support. It makes, makes sense. Okay. I'm not happy with it, but it does make this sense. This is really, really bad. This yeah. is going to be really bad now. Um, okay, so we have so this guy's essentially attacking. Yeah. Um, plus that, bonus of four. Yeah. What what the number? Oh, the engage was a three. <laughs> so it's seven to begin plus a nemesis number. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> the nemesis number is a three, so it's a ten. <laughs> that's the worst outcome, isn't it? it tells you on the yeah. card. Yeah. Uh, it says discovery card. I'm sorry. It says uh, D eighty nine, eight nine. I am. I already sighed several times. Trouble I for remember. Solomon. Solomon is too tired to defend himself effectively, and a spear flashes past his guard to strike him in the side. He staggers from the blow, but he must fight on. If the fight total was one of three outcomes, it was 10 to 11, which means minus two strength. 
I remember that, you know. Uh, strength is now. Uh, oh, thank, thank goodness that we dropped this track by one for the yeah. intro, otherwise it would have been plus one and it would have been higher. Okay. So it's it, we're down to two strength, which is minus one. This is not looking and good. And in future fights now, this is going to remain in play. We'll have new discovery cards to choose from. Yeah, no, this is not oh, looking okay. great, guys. I am mm -hmm. not. Well, we had the champion attacking us, so we are. I'm just saying, if you hadn't rolled Felipe, if we had moved him, it would have been fine. Just saying. Tem temper <laughs> temperance is like the side down somewhat. <laughs> this again, we, like for all intents and purposes, in these kind of situations, Solomon absolutely could fight, but he's known since he's, he discovered these, these cannibals that his objective is to not engage them. He knows that there's nothing good can come of this. If we get defeated, we're going to carry on to a chapter which is probably not going to be nice. Sometimes if you're defeated, it will end the act and you will feel other times when you're defeated, there will be an outcome in the chapter that you may have a chance to escape from. You may get a chance to go on a completely different route from if you had escaped, of course. It's fine. It's all right. Oh, hold, on, hold on, we haven't, we haven't finished the card yet. <laughs> of course not. Uh, the shadow closest to Solomon moves to you to engage him. That's uh, when I get to. One two Calm. three yeah so it would try and move here or would it go one two because that's equal distance these are both one away or this one can go one two three three so yeah so basically this yeah. these pieces are all equal so we could just move this one to here and not worry about sure. temperance getting yeah, involved for now yeah that would be great okay. one yep two how much does it move? just two two, two. Just to yeah, but then the shadow closest to Solomon who's one to threaten him. So he oh no, sorry, we did that wrong. Hold on, on, the shadow. Uh, oh no, we didn't. Yes, closest, you're right. This one. sneaky shadow up here was confusing me. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I, that, that's all that happens. It was okay. a very peaceful round. I'm sure Solomon is absolutely <laughs> loving his life right now. Um, Great and no pressure. No, I'm I'm I've been yeah. sighing. I, I feel sorry for the microphone. I'm just <laughs> really <laughs> really concerned. <laughs> and. When I say my, I'm sorry for about the microphone. Yeah. I mean by everyone at home here. Everyone me at home. Breathe into the microphone. Um, <laughs> um, I don't want to. I'm not going to say what you need no, to roll. No, no. Let's just roll and that. then. I'm going to look away. Let's just roll and then go from there. Please get it out, out of here. Stop. That. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have. I can't believe. Oh no. So two fear. You you gotta reroll. Yeah, I forgot to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I was. <laughs> so right now, Karina is trying to play this card, which <sighs> is uh, deter, uh, determination and two fear. She currently has yeah. she has a fear and a wild. So two. She needs to re probably re-roll yeah. one of the rolls to try and get one of these two symbols. Yeah. If you run out of options, you can use cards. Oh, sugar! Yes, I completely forgot about cards as well. Oh, that's true. So yeah, no, actually, you could do smooth something in one closer to an objective, and actually, could you do this one as well? Mm -hmm. That's minus one strength, though. Can we? Have, no, no, no. We're not going minus one strength. <laughs> but that's but that's <laughs> that's move two. Minus one strength. Look at the strength. Look, look at where how strong oh, we are at this particular moment oh. in time. Sorry, my voice even went high yeah, pitch. Really I right, completely yeah. disagree with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm making this clear. I disagree with this. Okay, one. Okay. Is there any way to move? Twice. I, um, so, do you have bravery and fear? Yes. And yes. you have bravery, fear, and no. A, a, a pain. She, does, she does. She does have bravery, fear, pain. If you reroll, yeah, but I don't have not yeah. enough for both. Yeah. No, yeah. but if I could technically try to reroll one of these, and if you got either a bravery yeah. or a fear, you could move twice at the cost of a strength, putting us on one strength. Do we want to do and that? Hope, and hopefully, he won't get to oh, bash Solomon in the head. It's fine. Okay, let's do this, Corina. No Puritan if, puree today. Hashtag no Puritan puree. If you're up for it. Come on. So we're looking for bravery or a fear. There's a bravery. So you now have the, the option. You're not, you're not for it. That's all I can see it on your face. I, I really, I, I am not, I'm we're, not a fan of this, of the strategy. I do. We're walking on thin ice. Exactly. Here. I'm really yeah. concerned. If something happens, we're dead. Just like that. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. We have plus one strength at the open courage's card too. So on my turn, I could potentially give us a strength back. All we have to do is survive one round. Do we want to try that? I, I feel like it makes sense to, to run for it. I'm just slightly concerned. How that's hard do you run for it? No, no, you said, no, no, but that's yeah. it. You could, you could, you could, yeah. you could spend no, one move. I just wish we had that discovery card back then. The run for your life. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that would be yeah. so great right now. Um, okay. Shall we just go for it? 
and lose one strength beyond one on the strength track? I'm sorry for this, by the way, but it's your decision. Typical. No, I don't like it. Look, I really generally don't like it. And it's tough for me to roll what I need for the, I need to roll a determination and a faith for the plus one strength. But I feel like if we only move one, if we only move to here. Yeah, you already have, sorry to interrupt you, I apologize, but yeah. you already have a faith. So you would be rolling, really free, you're rolling free dice to get. Um, two determination, basically, oh. or a determination and a faith, yeah. which no. is not impossible. But if we only move one to here, we're going to get stabberated. Because I don't think we've talked about it, but the spears can attack adjacent. Like we've been yes. doing it without actually mentioning mm -hmm. it. Yes. There are ideal weapon ranges. I know pistols and muskets and such will be a thing. Swords and daggers will fight at different ranges from spears. Spears want to be a space away versus a sword or a dagger. A dagger mm -hmm. specifically wants yeah. to be in the same area so that the uh, pirates and such that you engage with will act differently according to their weaponry. I, I love that. That's very D and D esque. Yeah, but it makes sense. There's yeah. ideal ranges. Yeah, um, I really like that. And that's cool. So, yeah, look, I don't like it either. But I think we have to run. I don't want to be. Okay, like, so let's let's just do it again. I I know it will be my fault because it's my turn and I'm deciding <laughs> this. But I, I okay, I roll it. Let's go for it. I'm just thankful we don't have another six chapters to play because otherwise oh, I would be responsible, it. virtue. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're talking about is doing. Need a uh, common cup of tea after this. Responsible, he says. This one, and you should have been responsibility <laughs> than just What an amazing virtue! Yeah. The virtue of procrastination. Oh. <laughs> I would have, I would have been the best. I would have been the best at procrastination. Okay, so we would have that. Yes, yeah. and then. Just kind of um, yeah, yeah, you've got, you've got, oh, yeah. I, I, know, I couldn't I see it. Yeah. I, I, I panicked, but I was trying to be subtle about how panicked I just was. <laughs> it was, uh, it was confusing just now. And uh, I can use this one as a while. As a while, yeah, we'll just, just put yeah. it like that. But yeah. it's basically. Um, you still got a dice left over? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So we're moving him. One closer to an enemy or objective, so that's obviously straight towards the objective. And then. I'll bring him the other side just so oh, you can yes. see. That makes sense. Um, and then another two. two. So we'll go <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah. Straight. I mean, straight line makes us. I agree. Absolutely. Trying to do a dark portal. Yeah, uh, let's do it. No. One, two, right? <laughs> two, do, 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 do. Oh, what is this thing? Oh, wow. I actually completely forgot about the shadows and the darkness for a minute. I was focused purely on not getting stabbed. Oh, yeah. God. Okay. okay. Um, we are forgetting something. We have, to, we have to lose the strength. Yes, we do have to lose the strength. So strength is on one. Everything comes up. Okay, the so these get discarded. Well, we use so many of the courage cards. Yeah, we've got no, oh. we have five left out of the five. And we have some fighting left. We have plus one strength left, obviously. We still got place courage on the board and we still have the option to move courage. So mm -hmm. it's not strength like uh, okay, courage could still help us. So Corinne, if you wish you can actually discard any of those cards. And you still have that dice left on a reserve that I'm full on donation, so you might as yeah, well reserve. No, that's right. you can go. Going. So yeah. I'll go there for sure. Uh, I'm not I don't have enough cards to um, uh, reshuffle, so I'm not going to do that. I think it could let me Look, we're going to die from strength before we die of compassion, so just yeah. get it out of there. It doesn't, yeah, fair enough. It doesn't matter that much. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. And I do have the option of potentially placing justice on the board if we make it to that point. Good. <laughs> don't never do this, man. See, at least you don't have to do this all the time. No, but apparently it's my fault when I roll dice. Yeah, so I see, it's it's cool. teamwork. The you shadow, do that bit, I do that. So, nothing's adjacent, so we skip straight by and um, pass the story. So, the shadow closest to Solomon moves two to engage him. Oh, for goodness Yay. sake, he really is. So just, yeah, show that guy moving. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a guy that, oh, we moved right into him, which means we have an event. First of all, minus one light on any future chapter. Nothing okay. to worry about. There would, there would usually be another four or five chapters, yeah. so but not to worry about that today. Um, remove one exploration token. Don't have to worry about that. Plus one danger. Oh. That affects our outcome, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, if the danger is seven plus, we lose a yes, victory point. Yes, we lose a victory point. It's still okay. We don't. We don't get slain in combat. <laughs> well, that was right. just the event. <laughs> Silver lining. Uh, right. Everything's <laughs> terrible, but we are still alive. For now. Three hunters farthest from Sol McKean move to to engage him. In case of a tie, you always have to choose nemesis. Villains. So these rubble. these Makes three sense. are all the furthest yeah. away. So they're all going to move. Yeah, but two. you're going to move the nemesis first. One, two, 
one. Uh, two, two. Right. Passing through my intangible body. Uh, one, <laughs> two, one, two. Okay. Oh my god, we might make it. Spawn it Y. Oh, thank god it wasn't said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. We got lucky. And we have two darkness cards left. No pressure, us do something. <laughs> <laughs> Payback time, right? Yeah. <laughs> do it again? Yeah. Better, better, better. We went to the team. We um, are. Um, guys, I don't have a way to move him. Available right now. Then spawn yourself on Z. Oh, yeah. that's a good call. Yeah. Or try to go for the strength. Yes, strength. the strength is, is yeah. Yeah, this all in. I'm going to roll because that will probably help dictate what's going to happen. Um, that is A OK. I'm going to flip this P in into determination. Yeah. Okay. Right, so that gives me, with my, my donated dice, so this is my pool of dice. This will let me do the plus one strength. Okay. Leave me with two P in left over. Okay. Um, I feel better now. That means <laughs> if I do this, I cannot for this prudence, but I actually don't think the shadows are the real threat right now. I think it's okay. staying alive. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely, plus definitely, definitely, plus definitely, definitely, up to definitely. Two strength. Now, the minus one strength is only whenever we're fighting. At the moment, we're really yeah. just running and dodging yeah. and interacting. Yeah. So it's really the danger track that's hurting us there. True. Um, the two left over, uh, I have nothing to shuffle back in, so I'm just going to hold on to them, which actually is okay. They could be useful for me next round. Cool. 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 <laughs> cool. cool. <laughs> Precisely. Uh, yeah. I'm not concerned at all. I'm no. super relaxed. One super hunter relaxed. engages an adjacent mortal. No, not a problem. Oh, actually, nothing's adjacent, so I can skip right mm -hmm. by this section. All hunters move one, all hunters, to engage mm -hmm. Solomon out of three. So, see, first we move the nemesis. The nemesis. Then we move the villain. Oh. Then we move the rest of them. <laughs> so, one, and then these guys are going to go one. He's also going to go one. This guy's kind of trailing behind. Yeah. Right in here. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Um, and they initiate their, their attack. And we have a nemesis evolved in this fight. Yes. So then. And we also have the trouble for Solomon card, which is going to potentially mean this is worse. Yeah. Okay. So starting value um, is dictated by the the this, uh, excuse me by the darkness card. So it's three, three, uh, four, five, five. And then we get the nemesis value, which is four, which goes to nine. And we have the nemesis track, which ten. puts it to 10. Um, I'm not going to lie. So because we had this revealed earlier, we have the trouble for Solomon card. We're now using these values rather than the chapter values, because the thing has the chapter has progressed to a worse situation. We're using number five. I remember. You remember. I remember. It's even worse. You? you know what's coming. Yeah. Overwhelmed. There are too many of them. Solomon Cain is a match for any one man, yet even he cannot stop enemy endless waves of assailants. He is outmaneuvered and surrounded, and the press of enemies forces him away from his goal. There are then three options depending on the strength of the fight. It was a fight of ten, so we lose minus one strength. <laughs> oh thank goodness. Not and that we lose it, but that you added it. Sorry. <laughs> just listen to it. And move Solomon one away from his objective. Which technically means... We could move him here. Because that is further away. It will be or one, two, here. three. No, one, yeah. two. Yes. Yeah. 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 This is further, yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> However, I'm very sad to say that now we replace the trouble for Solomon. And now we're into overwhelmed, which means if we have another attack on us, it's going to, it's going to be game be... over. Yeah. Yeah. So let's move here then. And we now need to move a three. Okay. And we have one well, darkness, darkness card, card left. Okay. So hold on. We, you, you have a way to put a darkness card in with two yeah. guys, which means two yeah. guys yeah. get used, one's left over. We can add a darkness card in to buy an extra round. But still, we need to be moving as well. So. I can move one. I need three dice for it, but I can move one. We would need Karina to basically add a darkness and move. Is that even possible? No. Uh, oh, sorry. I, only I was, if I'm... If you... My add darkness card is in my hand right now, which means okay. next turn I can use yeah. it, but now I can't. No, so I maybe if I go forward and both of you guys give me dice. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have time. Oh, add a card. 
No, we won't. No, we other card didn't give one die, right? Yeah, so because so. we only have one one player gets to play, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. It has to be you first, Babish. You have to go first and add that darkness card. And blame me then. Uh, and then, <laughs> Karina. Do you know what it comes down to? And this is going to sound crazy, but if you move and they do come and attack us, if they if they attack us unsuccessfully, they come at us the rule, we could dodge out of the way and get to the objective. This literally, we have to put faith in Solomon's native ability to dodge a weak attack. If they attack us strong, we're not going to make it. So far, he hasn't dodged anything. No, he has. <laughs> I mean, on this chapter. It's yeah. on, but, it, but, it's, but it's on Solomon now. I don't think we have the ability. It's on him to do the, the dodging now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's do so that. So one, May two, yeah. three. Yeah. May and have three oh, yeah. Sorry, I've been yeah. hoarding all the dice over here. Mm -hmm. No worries. Oh, man, this is too tight. I don't want to be pure. Got it. You, get, you got it? I got it. Okay. Oh, thank you. That. So I'm going to donate that to Corinna, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. So with uh one bravery and yeah. one pain mm -hmm. i'm gonna add one darkness card mm -hmm. on the deck so in this case well again obviously you guys know there are loads of darkness and discovery cards yeah. we're just using a of specific that. play testing example here yeah. just so i'm gonna that. reshuffle that deck and where do you put it bottom top? bottom bottom okay yeah. so do you have a move no Oh, wait, wait, oh, yeah, because you're dead. You're I have an innate move, but no. Yeah. So I'm going to put this card here. I'm going to okay. reshuffle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. You, you, uh, we, need a, we need a lucky darkness card, and then we need a move over the finish line. And darkness card. Please, 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 please. So no one's adjacent. So then the most, uh, no, never mind. That's the strike. It doesn't matter. The shadow closest to Solomon moves one to threaten him. Lovely. Or here, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. And the shadow furthest from Solomon moved two to engage him. It would be three, but that would be one, two, three, four, right? Yeah. So I think so. One, two up to here. <laughs> yeah. Then, oh no! All hunters move one to engage Solomon at a three. So the nemesis, followed by the chief, followed by all the other hunters. And they all fit in this guys i'm not i'm yep. not uh, i'm not very happy about this at an engage of three four five six seven as a beast eight eight plus the nemesis oh God, i'm just i'm putting the oh. dice down i don't think i will get to roll at this <laughs> That's point three 11. for eleven we use card number eighty nine oh, guys tries to defend himself can't do it effectively, he's too tired, staggers, tries to fight on. If it was a 10 or 11, minus two strength. Oh! And that's the point when we close the book, throw it away. Yeah, and go and have a beer. <laughs> and go have a beer. <laughs> so, we would refer to the chapter card. Yeah. The chapter card is, if Solomon is defeated, uh, if Solomon Cain is defeated, it doesn't matter if you reach your objective or the danger, it simply is lose two victory points, which means you cannot get 5A. You cannot get 5B. You cannot get 5C. You are going, sorry, you are going to get 5C. But you guys are going to have to find out what that means. And we're going to get a beer. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like, I know I mentioned tea earlier. No, this is totally I feel happening. Like we played the first chapter really well. We moved through. We could have maybe waited an extra turn and been a little bit more patient. You did say at one point, let's be a little bit more crude. Let's, 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 let's. You, and if we had waited, maybe, maybe the but danger would have been it's lower. Still, it made more sense at that moment. Yeah. It looked like that was, the, it was, yeah. it was, it was, it was a tough decision, mm -hmm. but it looked like it was the, it was the good decision. We could have spent more time placing light on the chapters ahead, so we, because we knew chapter four needed light. If we placed yeah. some light in chapter two or chapter three, it might have made that easier. Oh, I don't know. The danger, letting the danger slip up was, yeah. was and that those decisions we have to say, do I let the shadow come in and, and cause an event? Yeah. Or do I repel the shadow and Precisely. let the danger walk one is a is a huge decision point. And you know, this was really, really tough. But this is a good thing about the game as well, because it has so many randomizing factors yeah. with a a, a good um, co cooperative style yeah. that actually provides a different kind of challenge mm -hmm. each time you play it. So this oh. is the first time that I'm getting massacred. Yeah? Oh, yeah. no, yeah. you're welcome. So <laughs> I am it's happy. always the first time, right? <laughs> I 
I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Well, this, this was my first. third time playing this, mm -hmm. and I had not seen five C before. And, oh, uh, four C, sorry. Oh, and and five C. You you should see five C. Quite about. <laughs> So what I'll say, just as a reminder, guys, of course, this is still a prototype. Obviously, you can see the Heart of Africa box. We will have new tiles. We will obviously have the new Heart of Africa minis. This is part of the Wings in the Night. Um, uh, this is part of the whole adventure, which is three acts in total. Each act is made up of eight to ten chapters, ten chapters in, in this case. So we played just half of an act. You would have a full other half to finish one act. Then you would have two further acts to really get through that entire adventure. And that whole thing all is enraptured in the one evolving Solomon story. I do know for a fact, had we done this more successfully, we would have got away from the cannibals. We would have headed off to Solomon's original goal of trying to get to the village that he was trying to help. Now, I actually, I don't know what's on 5C. I can't even pretend that I know because you know, I don't know. Yes, it's a story and it's a, an ominous one. So we turn that off and then then we go play yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sure yeah. okay yeah. well look thank you guys i um, obviously i haven't been reading the comments i hope jake's been keeping up with this i really hope this has given you another little bit of insight of stuff we're going to do and we will have a very very special announcement actually coming up on the kickstarter updates pretty pretty much within i don't know 30 minutes 60 minutes pretty much Exciting. as soon as we can after this there's going to be a, a mythic games announcement and um, you're also going to have a leo live tonight as well leo's going to be coming out to you guys and having a, a chat with all the community and all the backers to kind of have a, have a chat with you guys tonight as well we will be back over the next few days as well we're going to be doing more more lives like this and we'll be showing more gameplay we're going to be looking into other stories other acts and looking at other things this obviously was very focused on the danger from the get-go Solomon was in a bad place from the get-go here but we're going to be looking at some more heroic events and how Solomon can get involved and do some other modes other entities and even more NPCs the right? hidden mechanic man just added so much to that and I'm loving the discovery I can't wait to add even more to this and make this really robust. wait and see the next one man. such a tease it's great <laughs> having Babas on okay look have a lovely evening guys hang around if you're if you're about this afternoon this evening tonight whatever time it is with you Leo and a big update are coming your way still today we hope you're going to join us for the rest of the campaign and thank you so much for being with us I'm now going to do uh, my secret little uh, slide off to go over there <laughs> and I'm going to ask Karina to give me some theme music uh music yeah yeah sound effects so, uh, sound effects are a very different oh, sound music effects, because please. music would mean that everyone runs well i need sound effects then okay go no. <laughs>